Hi chat, how are you guys doing? I prepared myself for today because I haven't watched these videos that we're going to be watching today. Well, I haven't watched them fully at least. Hold up, I need my uh, mode music first before we start with this shit. I prepared my uh, small, uh, small Gura right there in the left corner. She's gonna keep me sane. She's gonna live rent free in a lot of these people's heads. But first of all, we have to go through uh, what, what kind of aunties we're actually gonna be talking about. So hold up. The aunties we're gonna be talking about is uh, they're gonna be first of all very starting off very low level. It's just people not understanding VTubers, like just being annoyed by them, and that's. And that warrants making a video, I don't know. They just made the videos because VTubers and, you know, VTubers being a new thing to them at least. Uh, they made the video like uh, three years after the fact, after the VTubers actually got popular, but they, they made those videos anyway. Why? I, I don't know. I guess they were trying to capitalize on VTubers being popular to get some sick ass views on those uh anti videos those are those are the low level antis that we're gonna be talking about people that basically don't know why they uh, don't like vtubers they just don't like them because very poor poorly defined reasons next type of anti we're gonna be talking about is is, is gonna be the anti lolicon anti because that's the most popular one and i've got like two free prepared including an anti zion lancer one then we got Venti, and uh, there's just some other dude that I just found randomly. And I do mean randomly, I wasn't even looking for the guy. He just kind of... I don't know, he just showed up in my in my searches one day. I, I was like looking for cooking videos and some shit like that, and I found the guy that shouldn't be cooking instead. And uh, he, he's very overreactive. He's a... Uh, He's very out there, so we're gonna watch that too. And the fun part of this is gonna be that I haven't watched most of these until the end because I got so annoyed. So I I'm gonna be forcing you to sit through uh, through all of this with me, chat. Uh, Puji, thank you for the two dollars. Yeah, Gura's gonna keep dancing until uh, until we fall down because she she won't. She's gonna be dancing forever. Um. The third type of anti, what was it? Third type of anti. The third type of anti is like just complete anti lolicon like uh, not even involving VTubers in, in that shit. And in that uh, category, we have a dude called Win. And Win is, I discovered Win when he started to shit talk Shondo. And when he started shit talk Shondo, I discovered a whole slew of these weird Zoomer adjacent turkey tom adjacent uh, content creators on youtube like people with like 50k 60k even 70k subscribers like i have never heard of these fucking people w where did they come from how did they get so big I, I have no idea but the commentary community is, is super fucking weird to me like i, I thought this sort of youtube meta was kind of dead but i guess it's not it's not dead yet for drama as that's probably uh, also part why I can have a YouTube channel and, and get a decent amount of views on, on a small channel like my own, I guess. E even though if, if I keep it strictly VTuber only. But yeah, that's the that's the guys we're gonna have today. And I think it's best to start uh, with the low tier fuckers. The guys that are just upset about VTubers because VTubers exist. So let's get right into it because we, we have a lot to go through. And I don't want you guys to be here for like four hours because some of the content is just outright annoying and it's gonna rot, rot your brain. So uh, let me uh, silence the music and let's get our videos up. What's the first one called? The first one is simply called VTubers are terrible. Let's go. I've discussed VTubers here on my channel on a few occasions, and despite that, I've somehow missed discussing the VTuber content itself. 
Now, I've already talked about why I hate VTubers from a corporate standpoint, but I somehow miss discussing the VTubers content on a surface level. Because as much as I hate what's going on behind the scenes, a big part of it just has to do with their content in general. I know I made a few remarks on how they can be annoying, but nothing too in-depth, so today that's exactly what I'm you will also find there's a commonality in a lot of these videos. They all fucking play FPS and talk over them. I d I'll never get this meta. Like, this is like some 2008 YouTube shit where there was like Call of Duty commentary and some shit. I, I don't know why they do that. I mean, it kind of diverts attention from your point, unless this is like a keep zoomer uh, attention span video. I, I have no idea how this works. I'm too old to understand. Gonna be doing. Because there are so many different VTubers, I can't go through each and every one, but I'll go through the ones which really put a bad taste in my mouth. Starting simple, we have Gura Gar. Gar? How the fuck do you even pronounce this? Gaugura. Gaugura. I've talked about Gura briefly in a previous video, and that's mainly because she's the perfect example to illustrate how annoying VTubers can be. From the high-pitched voice to the blatant acting, she's probably the easiest to nitpick when it comes to it. From what I've been told, she's entertaining because she's cute. From what I, what he's been told, he's annoying at someone he probably doesn't even watch. Amazing. She uses terms like and can't do first grade math. If that's what you call entertainment, then I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I honestly hate this label of cute entertainment. Hey bro, check out this VTuber. It's a cute little girl playing video games. It's so wholesome, man. Check it out. No, I'm not checking it out. This shit is fucking garbage. If your whole premise revolves around cute, then I don't this is not a troll, by the way. This guy is completely serious. He has uh, videos like this, like up in the tens or hundreds. He's not trolling. He, he just dislikes them because they're not to his taste. I want to see it because I already know it's going to be the most boring shit known to man. This isn't just a problem with VTubers. This could be applied to any medium. If your whole selling point is because it's cute and wholesome, then I don't want to see it. I'd rather deep throat a 12 gauge and play itchy with the trigger. Now let's move on. So edgy. <laughs> Probably one of the most annoying VTubers I've ever seen is Zentrea. Allow me to explain. Zentrea doesn't fucking talk. Instead, she uses a fucking text-to-speech bot. Big quotations on she. I hate hearing text-to-speech on a 20-second oh, no. TikTok, so a three-hour stream would be fucking hell for me. Am I the only one who can't fucking stand text-to-speech? Who the fuck actually enjoys this shit? If I had to pick three things I despise on the internet, it would have to be VTubers, text-to-speech, and Reddit. The last one doesn't actually have anything to do with the video, I just fucking this hate guy. Reddit. Earlier in this video, I put big quotations on she, and that's because I'm 100% convinced Zentria is actually a man. I don't know about you guys, but maybe there's a reason why she doesn't want to show her voice. Spoiler alert, it's probably not because she's shy. That's a dude! a mistake i've been i've been with chrissy for 10 years chrissy What's, that's be chris <laughs> that's a nigga in there this is a mistake I, i've been married to her for 10 years that's chris What's wrong, babe? no no i'd also like to add that as lifeless as vtubers are their voice was the one thing keeping them semi-human but now that you've replaced your voice with that of a robot there's now an even bigger disconnect between you and your audience Finally, I like to discuss Project Melody. Now, I'm not a big fan of sex work and porn to begin with, so when you mix it with V- This is also another thing with these these fucking Zoomers. They all pretend to be like these pu pu Puritans or some shit like that. Like, the amount of weird, like, 20-year-old somethings that are anti-sex is, is, is amazing. I don't believe them for a fucking second. That they don't fucking jack off to- the lowest tier of fucking porn when no one's fucking looking. YouTubing, you get something completely terrible. If you thought titty streamers are bad, you have not seen a Melody stream. I know the adult industry isn't known for its nominee acting, but because of it, it makes it pretty fucking hard to listen to her streams for any extended period of time. I will give her some credit though, because there are one or two clips which I found actually kind of funny. But aside from that, it's really just pandering to Coomers, aka her adoring fans. I'd honestly rather go through three hours of cock and ball torture than sit through five minutes of a melody stream. I Although she shifted towards a more PG this. approach to content, the views speak for themselves as she really was just known as that one porn VTuber. Anyways, that's my take on these VTubers. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe and tune in next time when I come up with a better outro. 
videos like this make me feel better about my own fucking content, which is non-edited and, and a singular fucking take. You would probably spend like uh, up to an hour editing this video that I can do in like, how long is this video? It's like four minutes. I can bust it out in four minutes and probably be, be a, at least a bit less annoying than it is. But again, that's that's the low tier content that I have for you today. Let, let's go for, for another one. This one is called VTubers are cringe. Let's go. I didn't say that. I just said, they just said a serving of shark has fat in it. At every single, almost every single one has, has Gura in it. That's why Gura lives rent free and that's why she's dancing forever. Kind of grams, that's like... Will you shut up, man? Yo, what's up, guys? It's with Zark here, and as the title shows, I am another finally going to be making game. a video talking about VTubers. Now, to catch some up to speed, VTubers are basically an awful creation that mankind, for some reason, thought that we needed. It combines the streamer, simp world with anime, which also is kind of known as the two most degenerate fan bases of all time. Now, sure, I do like anime, like, let's just say Attack on Titan this season. <laughs> But I'm so unable to Bro. see what is so entertaining about watching these anime girls play games. Well, to be like Jujutsu Kaisen, One Piece, Naruto, that's my fucking gem, bro. That's my anime. Fair though, I do not really find in general streams really that entertaining. But I mean, sometimes the clips can be interesting. It's just streams is not really my thing. But the other thing is that <laughs> these clips honestly aren't really funny. And when it comes to. They're cute and funny. You're right. Not just fun. VTubers, at least, they, in my opinion, end up being more so cringe. Except for, of course, the funny clip of VTubers saying the N-word, because that could be quite funny, because N-word haha funny, of course. There is, though, the idea of these anime girls being actually cute, which, of course, has to do with the fan base. And funny. You forgot the cute and fun. Which, re really, no. They are literally animated characters, and you're feeling this attraction. Like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Huh? See, now, the trick that they really do with this is to kind of put on this high-pitched anime voice, which appeals to the anime community as women in most... They, they make these commentary videos from a lab or, or, like, a factory. They all have the same fucking points. Those points even come at the same points in the, in the in the videos. Like it's like they copy one another or some shit. How do you know? Stan may have this overemphasized and unrealistic high pitched voice, which honestly is more annoying than anything. Which, while it's standable while watching a show, especially if it's not really constantly doing this, as is more seen in the uh, type of slice of life genre, which tries to appeal to this more cutesy chibi attitude. So, it, it's honestly meant to be a little annoying with it in anime, but nah. It, it also just makes it more cringe as well that they're putting on this persona. Which, although, here's the thing that um is not exactly true about this with VTubers. I'll be honest, I'd rather listen to a fake persona, although there aren't that many VTubers that are just outright faking everything about themselves, other than like... 20 videos of these fucking zoomers and their opinions. There is actually male VTubers out there, although noticeably they are definitely not as popular, especially amongst the English speaking human beings, as at least in terms of Hololive, they do have a branch that is for specifically male VTubers, but truly it, it definitely does not have the same publicity as their female branch. Now, this is probably most likely due to the lack of cuteness factor but there is also the fact that uh they do not speak in the same language as there is no english branch for this but at the same time the japanese community for female vtubers is definitely still there despite the language barrier so it most likely means it's like he knows a bit about vtubers maybe he knows more than he lets on but he doesn't want to look bad in front of his fucking zoomer friends he kind of sounds like like a VTuber fan in denial. ...that this does have to do with that cuteness factor yet again, and also that anime obsession. Now, among us... 
no, no, no. I, I meant among all, among all of this general critique, there's the fact that this whole thing is all mostly ran by a corporation. Now, that in itself doesn't really mean much. It doesn't exactly mean that's negative. But in my opinion, it does make the experience a lot less authentic, especially because they're streamers. Now, as I said, although I'm not really into it much myself, it is much better if the streamer's actually authentic, not ran by a corporation, <laughs> any of that. But in this, they're all kind of ran by this corporation. Now, of course, this doesn't apply to all VTubers specifically, but really, it's most of them that everyone's watching. It's the most popular ones. So anyone really claiming, oh, well, it's not like it's all of the cases. Well, it's a majority of them. So I'm just going to put that out there. And... Of course, there is the fact that, well, these VTubers, they're just kind of putting on an act in the end. As I said, they're putting on this voice, putting on everything. It's, they're not. Okay, sorry to break it to VTuber fans. They are, um, 100% not real. Okay. In what way? I mean, their behavior is, is that fucking point? Okay, these VTubers are being voiced by women. Now, of course, they do know wow. this, but this illusion kind of as it just feels fake with a live streamer at least in most people my opinion as well is while they're trying to put on a show mostly it's just more entertaining because it's a real person there um how i mean youtubers are novelty still three years in and people still watch them in the fucking millions have you ever watched an efot have you ever gone to fucking twitch and watched when any of the top female streamers Tell me that's, like, entertaining. Jesus. But it's it's a virtual thing. The whole thing kind of feels fake. Especially, as I said, once you get pack, past that fact that some grown woman using a program to look like an anime girl. Now, with most of these VTubers, though, they decide to stay in this illusion, hoping that... It's much worse than I anticipated. I didn't get this far into the video. Their anime girl truly is real, but, uh... Anyways, talking about that, <laughs> I guess we should move on to the community, which, um, you know, honestly, it doesn't seem that bad compared to some. I mean, I really don't see the VTuber community around or anything. I mean, as I said, there are way worse communities, such as the My Hero Academia fan base. And also, I was just talking about Attack on Titan. Well, uh, uh, that community is also pretty bad, sending death threats to animators who were under quite a strict deadline here. Also, definitely the uh, definitely better than the K-pop community who decides to spread their crap that no one cares about. I mean, I swear, you just look under any sort of tweet, and you have fifteen different fan cams of these a these uh, Asian boys. I know he's exactly making the same. points. Like, I, I don't know who that is, Jingping. Honestly, though, this community is not that bad. Of course, every community has that bad side, so just keep it that way. And besides, as I said, there's no need to spread. So much cancer outside of their community. Although, there is one specific person. Honestly, I have no, no issues with anyone else in the community except this one single person. The main reason for this video. The person who made this. Zia Theory 34. The whole reason for the EDM video. Oh shit, he has a grudge. Video. I must expose his antics. Mainly as a joke, and also because of the fact that I kind of want to lengthen out this video, right? Antic 1. He has a video that has more views than any of my videos. Antic <laughs> 2. He He's simply fucking jealous exists. of some other guy that's Okay, I don't exactly small. think that is really a fair thing to say is an antic, but... <laughs> well, let's talk about the fact that, uh... Made a everything video about that he some... does... Kind of revolves around these that's than he is. Now, I did mention the idea of <laughs> simps in this community, of course. He is most definitely one of them. I mean, for one, let's talk about his Reddit. Um, so, let's scroll down this here. And oh, this clearly, <laughs> looking through his Reddit, as you can see, he has <laughs> been gaining a lot of karma using these karma subreddits. Now, of course, I guess oh, that's no, normal. Oh, no, dude, fine, he has more karma than you. Really, How will you fucking survive? So he could communicate in the Hollow Live Reddit, and that is why he's he got more Reddit gold. He's been trying to gain karma. Now, <laughs> nothing wrong with this inherently, but uh, I did want to call it out as I do find it funny <laughs> as he is that much of a simp, and really wants to be in this Reddit community. Hmm. Also, 
What's he saying here? No, man, stop it. Also, as a fellow classmate of Mr. Zia Theory 34 here. It's his classmate too. He made a video on his classmate to tell him how jealous he is of his fucking content. And he's Reddit gold. Here. I can definitely tell you that he has taken his antics to the very extreme. During class, in my calculus class, of course, Zia Theory 34 here will be Am sitting around on his with? laptop is this watching like an elaborate these show? VTuber clips instead of paying attention to the actual class, which, I mean, I guess not inherently wrong, but he also plays them out <laughs> loud in some instances just to annoy. And that is another reason why I've had to shout this out. He's also done this with anime music, EDM, and all this, which is another reason why I called out EDM as well. I have tears in my so eyes So, honestly, now. the reason why I'm making this entire video is all because of him. I don't care about the community. I don't care about VTubers. You can like them all you want, but this man needs to be stopped. He's the bad part of the community. Trust me, that's all I can say about that. And, uh, well, honestly... I also don't care about that. Give him a sub, man. This is embarrassing, but also <laughs> funny as fuck. Give him a sub. It's the Zia Theory 34. Check him out. He's a king. No, he is not. He is not a king. He is a filthy degenerate who likes VTubers and EDM. But still give him a follow, I guess. He's all right. And oh, with that, that wraps up this video. I'm probably going to start actually making more videos consistently here now. And, uh... That's about it. Peace out. And see you at Theory 34. Stop. Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? It was funny, at least. I, I didn't expect this. I, I didn't expect this uh, takedown of his friend from fucking Calculus. But he did it. Madman did it. He did it for the Reddit karma. I, I hope uh, his friend gives him some Reddit gold after this. And this is the low tier stuff. The stuff that's actually annoying is, is still coming up. Let's see what we have next here. Oh boy. There's the Fallen Shadow stuff now. There's two guys that did videos on Fallen Shadow. Uh, chat, which one do you want first? The the guy that's uh, like hyperactive or the guy that's boring? You, you decide. A boring guy or hi hyperactive guy first? Do we want boring guy or hyperactive guy first? Because uh, we have a choice. We're going to watch everything, but you guys have a choice which one's first. Okay, boring guy it is. Uh, I was also going to pick that one. Okay. Go. Has anyone seen I'm being harassed on Twitter? <laughs> My age, physically, and I'm um, moving on! might be like almost impossible to resist please don't stare at my huge it makes me so so the, the difference is uh one is more amusing than the other but again i haven't watched this all of this until the end because i just got so annoyed like a few minutes in that's why this is like a fresh thing for me too conscious i've drawn myself there's nothing wrong with having pronouns but, but, but. the cancellation arc is real <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is so phenomenal to see you. I wish we were meeting under more uh, pleasant context, but this is why we're all here, for the real meat and potatoes of the nasty little trash can we call the internet. I woke up this- By the way, this guy, just for a bit of context, he, he was apparently some kind of big VTuber, like, uh, not VTuber, YouTuber, like 100k, something like that, and his channel, he abandoned his channel because he got fucked with, with his- by his friends something like that i think he goes into that in this video too kind of bitches about it a bit but this is like from his new channel has like uh, under 2k subs at this point and he makes videos about everything mostly drama uh, i guess he just he's just trying to get into that sweet sweet youtube me meta but either way, let's continue on. Morning, there were birds chirping. Life was good. I I, I breathed in the air. I was like, mm, what a lovely day to be alive. And I got a little Discord notification from my boyfriend of a little tweet thread they showed me of a VTuber known by the name of Fallen Shadow. Sounds like a gamer tag I'd make when I was five years old. So, bro, she's probably fucking older than you are.
So everyone would think I was cool and mysterious. Well, they have this little issue where they go around depicting their character who is notably by the age of 12 and very... You, you missed the spoilers after the 12, indicating that she isn't 12. This is to fuck with people like you. Uh, adult leg settings. We have to be very tiptoey around up, the world. Because he went through something really uh, Adult leg settings. We have to... What the fuck was he showing there? At the time of recording, I didn't realize that stereo I would cause the Twitter. Apparently, Falling Shadow is not 12. They're ageless, but they have baited their 12 million, etc. Okay, so you're stupid. At least you found it out. A and he put it in such a way that nobody would see it. That he got baited. Good job, motherfucker. But also, you who think this is any better, this is just proving my point that the VTuber is age baiting. We have to be very tiptoey around the words we're using here, but I think anyone who has two connective brain cells would be able to put two and two together. Now, I don't think VTubing in itself is weird. I think, you know, if that's what you want to do, I really don't care. But I draw the line whenever children get involved. I don't care if that means the child isn't real. It affects because it is a depiction of a child. The body, the shape, the behavior, all very childlike. And if that's what gets your cooking oil frying then yeah it's a little bit of a problem you are very much into the physical depiction of a child the, the child being a cartoon fucking character once more uh, uh, nobody looks like falling shadow I don't care if their eyes look like this or not. It's a kid at the end of the day. They describe themselves oh. as a kid at the end of the day. It's an off now shadow doesn't describe herself as a kid. She role plays as a kid sometimes but character that she's playing that's an adult awful, awful thing so today we were gonna and even if it was she was completely role playing a kid who gives a fuck as long as it's adult behind that a look at this video that they put out kind of defending their actions where their head was at and then we're gonna read some of the awful tweet threads and some tweets with people who weren't really agreeing with what i'm gonna be saying here today it's gonna be a blast if you enjoyed today's video feel free to drop a like and subscribe down below as it'll honestly elevate my mood after i go vomit my eyes out so without further ado let's get right into it you lovely individual yeah so the video is actually clipped from this channel called shando pilled individuals which 30 34.7 thousand people are so much of a fan of this 12 year old yeah the clipper of shundo is much bigger than like 90 percent of vtubers out there depicted child who has the voice of a dog getting hit at full speed on a highway and they also have some very questionable very able ableist considering that shundo's very close to her real voice but she know thumbnails from this person it's like yeah that's that's great black paint tyrone wow i feel like i'm 12 years old all over again hopping into my first cod lobby has anyone seen i'm being harassed on twitter <laughs> i woke up today to like 150 cool retweets on i don't know how many thousands that post got at this point i think the last time i saw it was like 3k the latest tweet and i was like whoa what is this and there were a bunch and for the record, the moment the guy was making that video and the moment he published it, it had uh, several thousands already, so you could just look into that thread to see what the fuck it was even about. A bunch of non 12 year olds with pronouns in their bio and K pop profile pictures telling me to <laughs> myself. <laughs> Ah, right out the gates, insulting people's uh, orientation and what they affiliate themselves with. Now, for obvious. Well. Was that really an insult or just identifying who actually harassed her? I mean, they all had certain commonalities in their fucking profiles. So, you know, these are the sorts of people that were responsible for it. This reasons I have to, because of the platform we are on, I have to censor those kinds of things. Gotta love the state of this. No, you don't have to. I, I give away with a lot more. I, I have made so many videos about people telling others to kill themselves and there's nothing wrong with that website but i don't really know what that has to do with it i doubt every single person here was in that criteria way to way to really share to your audience your actual views of that uh community by painting them in a derogatory light so good the, the derogatory light is um telling 
telling others that they exist and that they harassed her? Is that the derogatory uh, perspective? The cancellation arc is real! I, I made a funny joke to her last night with a picture of my um my tank top version and I said I know it might be like almost impossible to resist, but please don't stare at my heels. It makes me so self conscious He censored fucking booba. Booba. Conscious! Like um my face is up here, silly. So tired of being objectified and then I posted like a hundred eye rolling emojis. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can see why that might stir the pot a bit. Your character is depicted as a 12-year-old. Visually looks like a 12-year-old. Visually looks like a 12-year-old. Comparing these child children here uh, and that cartoon character, they look completely alike, my dude. And considering you got, also got baited into that 12-year-old thing when that was supposed to be 12 million or 12,000 or whatever, Kind of pie on your face there. 12 year old visually looks like a 12 year old. So then being like, ah, don't objectify me, which is already a big enough issue on its own. Uh, yeah, I can see why that might raise a couple eyebrows. Having people pulling up their magnifying glasses like, what the f are you talking about? There's hundreds of t gender 12 year olds. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing wrong with having pronouns on your page. <laughs> saying whenever every single person who is quote retweeting me has them in their bio i don't know how that makes me feel that's all i'm saying yeah again i don't really know why their orientation matters like you're already painting yourself with you know why it matters because they're easily to identify them because these are people that care about their identity more than anything else like who gives a fuck about your sexuality or anything else your personality doesn't come through if that's all you're fucking focus on and it's also very cool how he ignores that the death threats the dog's threats the death wishes especially from that previous one he ignores all of that all for a fucking innocent joke and and shondo is supposedly the villain here when she shits back on the people harassing her. As a person who tries to be a child on the internet, you draw said child on the internet in very awful manners, and then you turn around and insult a whole community of people who have every right to be who they are. Yeah, and, and she can't make jokes because she, look, she has a model that looks like that, and she deserves difference for that, right? Motherfucker. On myself. I've drawn myself in all kinds of situations, you know, as rewards for subathons and stuff. I have two more lines cooking, and yet posting a picture of my flat chest and saying I have massive is, is what gets me cancelled! No, she doesn't. N not outward outwardly and not very fucking often. First off, I think that is the creepiest reward you could ever do for like a Twitch stream. That is the most terrifying thing when you got people whipping out their credit cards, spamming subs like, we gotta get- Th That's the most terrifying thing. I, I don't think you've seen the shit some Twitch fucking streamers fucking do. Shooting fucking guns live, off live on stream, fucking self-mutilation live on stream, all those fucking porn streams, fucking live on Twitch. And this is the worst thing? Like, brother, uh, my slurs are ready, but they aren't fucking ready for YouTube. Uh, Luna is f thanks for the five. How do I submit a video? I have a suggestion for an anti-video. Put it in my Twitter. My my DMs are open. Let's continue on with this. There, we gotta see this 12-year-old, you know, very disgusting forms of art. That's your reward to your community. If that does not spotlight the type of followers you have, I don't know what does. These are all people who are A-OK -okay with the depiction of a 12-year-old in a CP style format. And they what's the CP style format? Um and I have another question. H how do you know this is CP style format? Do you have something to share? Have, have you seen something you want to share with the fucking class here? CP style format? I gladly pay money for it. <sighs> and for my next trick, we got a couple pairs and we're gonna see which one rots faster, the pairs or my brain, because we're about to hop on Twitter and see some of either the awful takes or the people who are really upset with the- The awful takes, if you saw some of them, is them explaining to him that Reality is not fucking fiction.
Doubtful takes. The fact that I had an opinion that was based in human morality, because... The, the morality of fucking cartoons. This little tweet right here. Hey, uh, I don't like replying to this publicly because I don't want people to think that I'm attacking. I generally just want a question, but DMs are closed. Can I please be explained why you choose to draw your child who is very clearly depicted as a 12-year-old? This is uh, one of the VTubers that went after Fallen Shadow at one point. And Shadow basically told them to fuck off because, you know, cartoon characters. You know, very much a child, even though your inspirations are children. Hi there, this is a draw- Oh wait, let me make it sound more accurate. Hi there, this is a drawing. It's not a child. A drawing cannot be a child. That makes no sense. And he makes a long fucking note. Has the opportunity to clarify that the character is not a child due to fake lore age 12 million, etc. Instead says it's not a child due to its being a drawing. Therefore, not denying that the character is easily viewed as a minor. If the argument was that in the lore they weren't a child and that it was on the forefront of their mind when discussing their character, kinda seems like an odd thing to forget. Instead, they argue that that it is the culture. Again, if they truly thought they were not age baiting, what was their opening an argument to deny the child is not being depicted not to do age, but because they are the drawing? Hold up. I'm not expecting the people who disagree with me to admit they're wrong. I just find it laughable, the level of denial that is going on. You know, normally it's not real would be enough, but you go on a fucking tangent about age baiting and about it attracting pedophiles, pedophiles that aren't really attracted to drawings, but you know, how would you know? Oh, I, all right. You apparently know what C... What CP, uh, what, what, what did he call it? Like, in a CP style? You apparently know what a CP style is, so I, I guess you're not the target audience. This type of culture is deeply embedded in VTuber culture. Always have been and always will be. If you don't like it, maybe VTubing isn't for you. Okay, first off, that's not even fair to say. There is a lot of VTubers out there who, they don't do this. They actually just enjoy the character they make and... The and so does she, but apparently she's not allowed to do that. They're funny and they're fun and they just have a good time doing it. To say and try to rope them in under your argument of, hey, drawing children in CP style formats CP is style definitely again. cool, even though the child's not real, you know, it's a character that you can visualize and fantasize about and has the physical embodiment of a child. You know, I always wonder about the anti-logic. If sexualizing what they think is a child is wrong, what about child murder? Like, would it be fine if I murdered the fictional child? Like, what about cartoons that showcase uh, child characters dying? Is this reprehensible? I mean, fucking the fictional children is bad, but what about killing them? Why, why is it always the sexualizing that's that they focus on? Like, why isn't why isn't it anything else? Why can't I? Why can't I put like twenty fictional toddlers into an orphanage, set the orphanage on fire, and then let loose like twenty rapists in there, and then like fire a tank at the orphanage too? Is that like? I mean, it's funny if you think about it, but isn't that despicable too? Child physical features, you guys are on my side, you know, deal with it. Like, why you gotta rope them into it? Coping and molding about cute and funny drawings is such an odd online presence to uphold, and they sent me this anime gif. Yeah, stay bad. And Which, man, if there's ever a point in your life where you're sending anime gifs and you pat yourself on the back, you crack open a cold one. By the way, this is a furry, in case you uh, needed more clarification. This is a furry. Lean back in your Cheeto-encrusted chair. You are the saddest person, man. That is tragic. Clearly, there's a lack of parental guidance in your life somewhere along the way, and I, I feel deeply for you. But anyways, I don't think that drawing children and uh, reward for a subathon to your fans, the people who subscribe for this, I wouldn't really say that's like a cute and funny drawing. It is. It's, it's very cute and funny. I think there's really only one way to kind of interpret said drawings. Ah, uh, this is a favorite of mine. Says the furry. Whoa, you really got me. Really sent me to the ER with that one. I went into cardiac arrest. My heart tried to stop itself. It said, what's the point of going on if I was possibly- I mean, you fuck animals, I guess a furry. Number one, I'm not a furry. I, I've yes, gotten this are. before. I just like the map.
No, no, it's a furry. You go to his profile, it's a furry. Nice. If I was a furry, why would I just not have a fursona? That makes no sense. You don't have to have a fursona to be a furry. Like, you're some... I'm furry in denial. That's awesome. Now, this is great and all. I'm sure we're having a wonderful time reading these little back and forths here. But here's something else I found to be a little interesting, though, that might be the nail in the coffin in this whole ordeal. And it's in regards to the legalities of this particular little subject. <clears throat> Possession of legal under federal law if two conditions are met. First, the anime depiction of an underage person is obscene or lacking serious. Oh, the obscenity thing. The dude forgot that anything can be deemed obscene. It... it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Serious value and second, um, I, I, is that part of the fucking protect act again? The anime was either transmitted through the mail, internet, com care, was transported across state lines, or there are indications that the possessor intends to distribute or sell it. Yeah, so why don't you? Yeah, that's that's why I, I went to fucking anime expo, the biggest fucking anime con in the United States and probably North America, and then I went to Otakon, and then I bought all the lolly shit that I could. Sold all in the open, not to minors, of course. That shit is, is age-gated properly in, at those cons. Yeah, and I brought it over state lines too. What about that, buddy? Sit and chew on that, you f***ing crap. Open Steve, it's legal as of 2006. Wait a second, this can't be. The, the Citizen's Guide to U.S. Federal Law and CP. Oh my god, no, no, this can't be. No! <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do something I never thought I would actually do on this channel. I'm gonna admit I'm wrong. <laughs> Guess I, uh... Why did you add it to the video if, if you're just gonna admit that you're wrong? I, I don't get it. I mean, dunking on people and then being dunked on back is... Get off on this, I guess. I guess I took the L. It's legal. It says it right here, and I, uh, I guess I was wrong on the legalities. I let you guys down. I failed you. Not only as a creator, but... Why did he... Censor all the fucking sex shit out. YouTube is not that fucking st strict with you. But as a person, I hate to admit it's another victory for. The also, he he's really bad at fucking um, this fucking game. The child lovers around the world, I guess. Follow just uh, just roll the outro, guys. Wait, 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 wait! Just a minute, though. Why does your? F have its own dedicated page located on a government website for CP laws. I see link after link, article after article, but... Why? Because they don't want people to misunderstand the laws and, you know, report fucking cartoons as actual child pornography in order not to fucking queue this up. Maybe that's the reason. Have you ever considered what you're into is so morally f***ing... No, no, no. It's just for people like you that can distinguish that shit and, you know, clonging up the report system with fucking drawings isn't helping to fucking catch predators, that's why. Discussing that the government needed to decide whether or not it should be legal in the first place? I don't see any articles about getting tied up or stepped- Getting mad and annoyed. This stream is fucking working. Don, so your f*** is viewed so poorly that lawmakers are still- uh, night timeline, thank you for the 550 uh, can Canadian Canuck dollars. Yeah, it couldn't find any body pillows at Toronto Comic Con last weekend, but it's super illegal, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is, but why, why would you expect this, uh, this person to do any research on this stuff? He, he just wants, wants easy dunks. And reminder, all of his YouTube stuff is just some drama shit. So, I mean, the same as mine, but he uh, involves himself in all kinds of internet drama, so that's the kind of commentary community uh, he appeals to. Still debating it to this day. And the only reason I could find why they decided to make it not illegal is because they found that there was obviously no children to testify. Oh, protect that. Classy. Regardless, in the eye of the law, these depictions are classified as children. I reread this over and over, and I can't seem to find where it says, or if the child is depicted to be a 12,000 year old dragon, just that there's no victim who can prosecute. Not once is it denied, or does the article disagree that the character depicted aren't children. Well, that's where you're wrong. Rather, they, a minor has to have an actual physical age. A drawing can have any fucking age, unless you count the age where the drawing was fucking made, and that would put it, like, at a very low 
low bowling fucking age at, at the same time. I, I, my brain cells are, are deteriorating trying to figure out how this dude thinks. Young buddy, they're actually ageless! Okay, but why are you hiding behind this argument? It is legal, Fallen Shadow and every other person who follows in their footsteps can legally say they are 12 years old. It is protected by the law, it says it right here. You could argue that people might cause an uproar if they explicitly say they are 12. Oh no, the child called it. It's just trying to make a child coded character technically accept acceptable to loot. Censored the loot too. The child coded shit and the coding thing is such a fucking Tumblr thing too. Uh, child coding is bad enough, but race coding is is even worse because they uh, try to make the argument that certain uh, races of people should behave in certain ways. That's why you got like black coded characters too. Th this shit is ridiculous, and I, I don't want to get into it because we will be sitting here all day. But there is an uproar regardless, so what's the problem? Why would you try to argue that they're ageless if it's irrelevant to the argument? You can proudly say as an American you are into digital minors, the digital rendition of a pre body. Why are you trying to tiptoe around their age if legally it doesn't matter? Ageless or not, so many people are arguing that you can purchase this anywhere, and I bet that not every character these people look at in a not safe for work manner is an unrealistic age. Also, if you use the ageless argument, then they would either look like a pile of dust or in your weird made up reality, they would have to choose a mortality at a certain age and therefore remain in that state so they're talking about minors that have actual identifiable ages drawings can be any age and he means the fucking character not the physical age of the fucking drawing it doesn't work like that and let's not fucking forget this is all made up these characters can be anything vampires demons they can be million years old six years old and be and have the mental capacity of an adult, it doesn't matter, the shit's not real. And that's the only argument that's ever fucking needed for this discussion, but this guy made a fucking 15 minute video about things he doesn't understand. Because he missed the part where he was 5 years old and could take, uh, tell reality and fiction apart. Getting fucking annoyed. Cool, 12,000 years old in a child's body. Hey, you wanted to play Dungeons and Dumb so let's stoop down to that level. The last time someone was arrested for this was in 2006, and this is the only time. American history in the making. You know, most things have already- That person that got arrested, um, that was on obscenity charges, if I remember right it had gotten rid of obscenity laws, and even those that didn't treat it case by case knew- And uh, you can get charged for anything on fucking obscenity. It doesn't have to be uh, that type of porn, either way. You actually have to commit a real crime first. It's a tack on charge, that literally means nothing. I looked into this and it turns out that was part of a plea deal, so I'll actually correct it for you. Nobody has directly been arrested for it. They would have to commit a crime first, one gold star to you. But it So he's wrong two times and he's still all smug about being wrong. I, I guess, I don't know. He likes being wrong? Again, you're not seeing the point that it can be used as attack on charge in the first place. Name another time where someone had attack on charge for NSFW art of an adult or again getting stepped on or any other kind of thing that knocks your socks off. Shouldn't it all be wrapped up together equally? Or is there something more distinguishable about this art in particular? Excuse me, Bojo, I've literally gotten <laughs> delivered from Amazon. Okay, kind of a weird as f flex, but in legalities in your favor aside, we are really going to use Amazon, the company for violating numerous human rights, as the pinnacle of morality. We they deliver stuff all the fucking time. It's not about the company itself. It's about, you know, if child porn was being distributed via Amazon services, I think they would do something about it. This just shows this shit is harmless. You're, you're grasping at straws, dude. This is not about the fucking company, it's about the delivery service. I'll, I'll have you actually know, it's on Netflix. Moron! Netflix, Crunchyroll, and Hulu, etc. I can buy it at mainstream bookstores and Barnes and Nobles. Clearly, it's not illegal. First off, I just want to commend your bravery, or rather, lack of shame. I don't know how you managed to walk into Barnes and Nobles and look another human being in the eyes as you purchased this. Y you should celebrate with a shower. I, I mean, dude, th there's... Barnes and Noble workers that stock that shit. 
Are, are th did they also need a fucking shower? Because they're selling that shit, too. You earned it, buddy. But hey, you do make a good point. I can watch it on websites like Crunchyroll. So on an unrelated note, I'd like us to watch this brief little clip from a dumpster fire show called High School DX. Oh, no, no, you, you, you don't get to call that fucking dumpster fire. It's, it's fucking primo content. High School DD is fucking great. And it's not just because of the fucking fan service. The characters are actually kind of fucking endearing. Show's fucking great. And I, I, I won't I won't fucking uh, stand from this for this fucking high school DD slender. Guy can fuck off. Such a shame, really, considering the child used to be the largest earner we had. No way, you can't be serious! The bishop used a computer to make them. Hello? I don't understand what's going on! No, I don't want to ever leave here! High school DD is fucking peak. It's sure it's full of fucking fan service, but the characters and the plotting is actually pretty fucking good. The outside is too scary. What? She's just a little girl, and look, she looks a lot like Asia. The child is a boy. It he is most definitely a little boy. You look way too hot in chicks' clothes, dude. She's just a little girl. Couple things to note here: child's voice, referred to as a child. Child, child. It's a little girl. Boy. But excuse me, they are a vampire, which means they are clearly of the immortal kind. So my point's proven then. The character is referred to as a vampire and is old as. <laughs> they even say they're made by a computer. The writers know this. The character Characters in this fantasy world know this. Wait, again though, what did they call them? Child, child. It's a little girl. Boy. Ageless. Hey, that's their and the writer's words, not mine. Again, ageless because they don't exist. They can be anything. They stay the same age in the show, brother, please. Again, your ageless argument is legal, so why are you so worried? Oh yeah, well this won't save your dying channel, idiot. Oh, uh, do you mean this one, the one I started six months ago as a way to pass time and I never check my analytics for, or the one I stopped uploading? Yeah, th this is what I was talking about. Guy was part of some larger thing. Two after I had a large drama channel cost me my life savings stealing $4,000 of my personal belongings after being part of the world's most toxic and downright pathetic group channel in human history. No, that- by the way, I, I know you couldn't read all of that because it went by so fast, but essentially the dude got fucked over by the same kinds of people he tried to appeal to. He was part of some larger group of content creators and uh, most of them ran the same fucking channel and he got fucked over by them. So the flex is that he got fucked over and now he has a channel that's uh, 100 times smaller. So good fucking job, fucking idiot. It's not dying, it's dead. So with that, I will admit, I made some mistakes. I got the legalities mixed, I got ratioed, I, I took the yield L home and I put it right above my fire. So basically his only argument is that, no, oh, I, I got you because these characters are referred to as children in these shows. So while you're defending yourself that they are ageless, completely misinterpreting the argument that, that the characters aren't real and their ages aren't real. But it goes over his head so fucking much, he just makes snide comments and tries to act all smug with his fucking furry bear persona that's not a furry. I replace mantle so I could look at it every day and smile because I'll never be you. Legally, it's okay, and that's all that matters if the law says so. I mean, our legal system is known for being outstanding and based in morality. I guess under that guy's child cool since it's legal. Marrying my cousin is something I'll probably put on my planner for next nice Tuesday. Speech, and once buddy. I turn 65 years old, legally I can be dating a 16. You're talking about real people now as opposed to things that aren't real, but again, another grasp at straws. I, I don't know how we're gonna get through all of this. This is just the third video. We have like or more. A year old who still lives at home with her parents. I often forget how wonderful our legal system is. Oh, and on the topic of ratios, since that matters so much to these people. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to say a big old thank you. If you're pissed at me, that makes me so very happy. Feel free to drop a fat dislike. I highly encourage you to do it and leave a comment down below. Tell me exactly what you hated about it or take a jab at me because it makes me... Nah, you're not getting views, buddy. Nope, that, that's why we're watching you on my, my channel. My day. But to the people who can actually be within 200 feet of a schoolyard, I just Everyone. want to say it was super funny watching y'all actually spit logic in these comment sections. Y'all were actually really funny and entertaining. It was a great morning scrolling through my feed. So feel free to drop a like. So to sum up his video, 
he was wrong two times, and the only thing he was right about that didn't really fucking matter. And he just acted all smug for 15 fucking minutes over being wrong. Good fucking job. Why did you make this video? To make yourself look stupid? And subscribe to the channel if you liked what you say and you're new around here. It always means the world to me. Feel free to follow my socials and my Twitter, Discord, etc. Again, I'm gonna keep this intro short because it's a bit of a long video. That's quite the troll behavior. I, I wish this was troll behavior. The guy just... I don't know, he has an inflated self, uh, sense of self-importance for being wrong. Don't get that. Video, you stay amazing, and as always, I'll see you around. Take it easy. Alright, time... Um, how long has it been going on? For an hour. Let, let me get the... Let me get a drink. And I'll be right back. Uh, I, I need to cool down. Be right back. Alright, ready to go for uh for another round. This time we have uh we have the hyperactive guy. The hyperactive guy about Shondo. I got like a few seconds into the video and I couldn't stand them, so this is gonna be fun. What's this one called? Fallen Shadow is Lolly V2 Fallen Shadow is Lolly VTuber cringe. Shondo Twitter drama, that's what the video is called. You're so weird! You're so weird! Actually, so I was loud. staring at the straps. How if you crop the image, it looks like you're topless! What the fuck? Yo. Crashed on a <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Ew, you nasty ass! Read some the latest tweet and I was like- You do not sound like that old god! so loud i keep lowering the volume Yo, but it my doesn't niggas, help what's good what's happening with y'all <laughs> i'm so fucking excited to do this video I, I lowered the volume by 10 decibels and it's still loud uh, i need to stop i need to relax like sometimes i jump on this bitch and i feel too hype i'm about to be serious for this video really fuck everybody i'm just gonna be fucking did i not this this is the most zoomer zoomer that i've seen Knock my camera why is my shit sideways yo Damn, my shit even more sideways. Yo, what's up, my niggas? I hope y'all are doing good. I swear to God, if I find out y'all niggas is not staying hydrated, I swear to God. Ooh, let me find out y'all niggas is not staying hydrated, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, to the new people that are watching too, how y'all doing? What's up, niggas? My name is Ben. Nice to like the, the previous guy was on on volume, but this guy is uh, is on some fucking dope. Some designer tracks for this guy. I need you come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, y'all do nicely. Hit that sub button. But all right, enough playing around, enough whooping your dicks. All right, it's time to talk about some serious shit. I right? low key today, I wasn't even trying to do the most, guys. Your boy was chilling. You niggas already know I be. Ch I, I again, I lasted for a few seconds before I clicked off. So can feel how I feel. Chilling, bro. This shit be coming to me, nigga. It just be coming. Like, it be coming. But anyways. <clears throat> it's a lot of weird shit going on on Twitter. Just came across a fucking weird ass post and it led me into a deep shithole. A deep shithole of fucking lowly. Lowly lovers. Ugh. All you anime niggas, some of you anime niggas, listen, I'm an anime nigga, alright? If you didn't know, I am a fucking anime nigga, alright? Weeboos is cool! 
a lot of y'all niggas is weird, but it's still cool. Nerd shit is just going to happen in the anime community. That's not the fucking problem. And the problem is, a lot of you anime niggas allow this weird fucking culture of like lolies, like these childlike. Um, I I don't remember this anime too well, but wasn't this like a lolly teacher? I, I think she's like in her twenties or thirty something. I, I know she's pretty peak. This one, I think, is like a uh, lolly teacher. I, I... Which fucking anime was this? I, I, I don't remember. I, I remember I, that I did watch it. I, I just forgot the name of it. Anime characters? Your first fucking defense is, oh, they're not real. Oh, they're just animations. Bro, there's just drawing. Nigga, suck my dick. Suck my dick. That shit is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Great argument. Uh, uh, worse than the last guy. Uh, at least the last guy tried to make some arguments, though. You're drawing these these childlike animations and you kind of sexualize them in a weird ass fucking way. What the fuck is this? What is this shit? Before y'all. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's have a small bet here. What if we went to this guy Twitter's profile and saw his likes and maybe discovered some pornographic images of uh, cartoon high schoolers in there could be I don't know the chances are very likely we're gonna start losing y'all balls I've been meaning to do a calm video all right we're gonna start this video off calm oh you feel me I just want to say before we get started I just want to say join the discord and join the fucking stream nigga sum up be a real nigga join the discord be a member today but yeah so like I was saying fucking lowlies I think it's just weird. And the people who try to find these little workarounds, like, yeah, there's the excuses, but then there's also the workarounds. It's like, oh, well, this guy, this character right here, he's actually a 100,000-year-old dragon. Oh, okay, nigga, why the fuck is he shaped like a 10-year-old boy? That's a, that's a boy to you? I think that speaks for something else. Ugh. Fallen Shadow on YouTube is a VTuber. I'm not too experienced on VTuber culture. I do not watch VTubers. I, I am not experienced with the VTuber community at all, all right? I am a VTuber virgin, if you will. Whoa, that's kind of, whoa, whoa. We're just gonna go through Twitter and just- I, I could make a cheap joke. I'm, I'm not gonna because he, he he's, the, he's the master of that. Let's see what niggas are saying about this. <clears throat> Fall on shadow. All right. So first of all, the number one shit that caught. All right. Okay. This is so weird. I know. Like this is just dog. I did as can't even make a joke about this. Why? I know it might be like almost impossible to resist, but please don't stare at my hashtag booba. It makes me so self conscious. Like, um, my face is up here. Si So tired of being objective. Oh my god! What the fuck? You're so weird. He said that at least five times, and I I'm glad he's not making any arguments. I don't have to even comment on this. <laughs> Just watch and uh, enjoy. You're so weird. Actually, I was staring at the straps. How if you crop the image, it looks like you're topless? Yo. This shit gets so much worse. Holy fuck, guys. Has anyone seen them being harassed? Why does your voice sound like that? Your voice your does voice. not sound like that in real life. They You're do. lying. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ew, you nasty ass bastard! I reduced this video's volume by another 5 decibels, and it's currently at minus. 12 decibels and it's still loud. How the fuck did he manage that? I woke up today to like 150 You do not sound like that! I was like, whoa, what is this? You do not sound like that! You do not sound like that! On God, you don't sound like that! On the gang, you don't sound like that! And the 
bunch of non-binary 12 year olds with pronouns in their bio and k-pop k-pop <laughs> okay all right <laughs> oh, okay let's all right that's accurate all right uh that's accurate okay that's oh giving him credit giving him credit for shitting on k-pop fans everyone deserves to shit on k-pop fans uh guy gets points for something gotta act <laughs> <laughs> fuck you're still weird though so great the cancellation arc is real i i made a funny joke tweet last time and it's a really funny, funny joke my cat conversion and i said oh god I like you like no why why are you okay another five decibels how the fuck is he still peeking my Fucking settings on in OBS. They don't like that. Why can't you just? You literally can look like any anime character ever. Why can't you just be a big buff muscly mommy? Anime niggas, all my anime niggas that are watching this, please. If you are watching this and you plan on being a VTuber, bro, please. Just anything is better. You, you, sh you should guys send this video to Monet, a a another black VTuber enthusiast and a lolly connoisseur. He's gonna t teach this brother a thing or two about uh, uh, anime culture. In this, anything. I was just being silly. And... <laughs> How about I just fucking body slam you? How does that sound? There's... That would be a, a threat, my dude. Hundreds of transgender twelve-year-olds telling me to kill myself now. I shouldn't call them a trans trans transgender trans transgender twelve year old. Can she said that shit, not me. She said that shit. <laughs> I'm telling. That was the Holy fuck. Okay, now we're asking the real questions. Why the fuck do you watch this shit? Very good this question. LMAO. Bruh. Oh come, come on. You didn't have to go, th d bro. Yo, he's trying. Fuck! I mean, I mean, come on! Like the the, the failed comment. Yo, listen. Hey, all my commentary niggas, don't y'all niggas, don't y'all niggas give up. We're never gonna fucking give up. I right? nigga, we're never going to fucking give up until we fucking hit ten million subs, nigga. I know I'm not. Hey, I'm gonna keep fucking posting. I don't care. I'm not gonna be a failed commentary. Fuck out. Well, he he's not gonna be the second Erika. That's for sure. Out of here, nigga. I'm not gonna stop posting to this shit. Fuck. <laughs> And I liked it, Ika, quite a fucking bit. R.I.P. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. You're attracted to little kids. How about that, pussy? Oh, what? Like, this is the person you're defending? Really, nigga? Like, y'all niggas sit here and think this shit is okay. I don't even know if I can show this. I don't even know if I can show this. Bro, bro, this is crazy. I'm not. It, it, it's it's what I consider little kids, and I'm gonna show them on YouTube censored. I'm gonna spread CP. Yada yada. They they always do that, and and then they wonder, whoa, why didn't anything happen to me? Like I, I thought this thing was CP. Oh, I guess it isn't. Even looking, bro. Oh my god, my eyes, bro. I feel like I'm about to go to prison. Why the fuck? Your art is amazing. Wait, ain't this the, ain't this that Tega Tiger nigga? I remember you, nigga. I was about to make a video on your ass. This, this is very suspicious. You know what? Hey, the video's not about you right now. All right. Saying that this is art is kind of weird. Oh, if he makes a video on Tiger, Tiger will just have another target to shit on. Saying this is art, like, is it? Whoa! Well, well, well. What do we have here? Federal law strictly prohibits the distribution of obscene matter to minors. In addition, visual representations such as drawings, drawings, cartoons, cartoons, nigga, or paintings that appear to depict minors engaged in sexual activity and are obscene are also illegal why don't these brothers ever learn to read, like, with understanding, with comprehension? Under federal law! Ah. 
it's almost as if it's a disgusting taboo fetish disguised as a friendly art community. Wow! I don't think they disguise it. It's all out in the fucking open with uh, artists that have hundreds of thousands of fucking um, followers on Twitter. All out in the open. It's not disguised at all. Wow! Uh, ain't that crazy? I believe... Brother thinks he discovered something uh, untold. Bro. Lowly supremacy. Okay, I just realized how clickbaity this is and how well this actually worked. Twitter freaks cancels. All right, wh what the fuck is this? Wow, nice job. You are now a drama channel. Please collect ten thousand dollars and sexually harass. What the? F Where the fuck is my ten bands, bitch? Help. Are, are you uh, are you a sex predator? Um. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Bamfal? I guess Bamfa or Bamfal, something like that. I, I forgot. How much time do I have until I get outed as a star? <laughs> okay, that's not funny. That's not funny, all right? Yo, this is, actually, that's ironic as fuck because literally you guys are posing as children and sexualizing, this is so, bitch, what? <laughs> I love this video. And she'll be fine. Well, she's washable. You can throw her in the washing machine. And violence her. <laughs> Imagine being 34 years old, spending your time watching adults putting on child voices while they play with stuffed animals. How old is this person? Hate to break it to you, but that's Fallen Shadows dead ass no more Bro, shut the fuck up. Please shut the fuck up. Nigga, you know and I know that's not fucking true. You don't sound like- Like, how old is Fallen Shadow? Because these VTuber niggas be like fucking 30 some years old and they put on a fucking voice changer and they sound like a fucking toddler. Like, it's not even the way, not like, the voice their changer. voice sounds, it's the way they talk, too. It's like, this is my dolly, and I love her. <laughs> She's so cute, like, I hug her all the time. You don't sound like that. You don't sound like that. I don't care. But, yo, anyways, guys, I'm sorry. I can't deal with this anymore. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I appreciate y'all niggas. I just wanted to talk about this because I just thought it was crazy and it was just going around on Twitter and I just seen it. So, I was like, fuck it. But, um, yo, like I said, yo, I appreciate y'all niggas so fucking much. Like, yo, I really, really appreciate y'all so much for supporting the videos and just commenting. And, like, just even watching the videos, I really appreciate that. Y'all niggas are the fucking best. I appreciate y'all niggas for real, for real. And we are almost to a thousand fucking subs. Don't you? Fuck it, forget it, nigga. Like, we not gonna be like what them other niggas said. The niggas talk about fail commentary. Yo, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. At least I'm not fucking a tr I, I, I'm gonna be watching you carefully, uh, see how your commentary uh, career goes. Attracted to animations of little fucking kids, you bitch ass nigga. Hold up. I, I, I need to check something real quick. Uh, just, just give me a moment. I, I, I need to check his Twitter. Like, what was his Twitter again? Bamfal? Bamfa? Bamfas, Bamfas, hold up, hold up. I I'm checking his Twitter. I I, I want to see if uh, if brother keeps to his principles. Bamfas, yes. He went to DreamCon. I I think that speaks volumes for what he likes. Let's see. Um. If guy actually has anything in his likes, or if he uh, at least keeps it to his principles. <laughs> Let's see. No, 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 no. It's all, uh, it's all basketball memes and, uh, oh, Asan Piker. It's basketball memes, AI voice memes. K 
okay yeah uh, no porn detected but but i'm skeptical i'm skeptical where this brother uh, um what this brother likes i'm quite sure he's gonna have some my hero academia porn stash somewhere i'm fucking sure of it Twitter and I just seen it, so I was like, fuck it. But, um, yo, like I said, yo, I appreciate y'all niggas so fucking much. Like, yo, I really, really appreciate y'all. Nigga said, then niggas talk about failed commentary. Yo, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. At least I'm not fucking attracted to animations of little fucking kids, you bitch ass nigga. At least I'm not a fucking weirdo. At least I'm not. A I I'm gonna find your, your, your fucking My Hero Academia stash, brother. I I I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it. A fucking musty ass. But yo, I appreciate y'all niggas so much. I'm out. Mwah. You fucking nerd. Oh, yeah. At least we managed to go, go through 50% uh, of this shit. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we have next. This was exhausting. Like. The guy has so much energy, but it feels like he drained all my energy with, with that shit. And <laughs> I sent him to mi minus 17 decibels and he was still picking OBS. That's, that's, that's a talent. What's, what's, uh, what's next? Like, wh which one do we want, chat? Uh, we have a Zion Lancer anti by a pretty big VTuber called Kenji. Do you want to watch that, like, for a difference? Let's watch that one first. It's a, it's a Zion Lanza anti-video. Sup, sup. Uh, once again, a bit of context about Kenji. If I remember correctly, at least, because I haven't been following him for that long. I think Kenji is a, is a black guy. But that has re re relevance to be uh, to uh, to our case here because he was previously uh, cancelled on on Twitter because I think he had a black uh, VTuber model before, a and the guy behind the model it it it's a black dude, but it's a very light skinned black dude, and they tried to fucking cancel him for that. Like they called him. Uh, non-black basically if it's the right if, if it's the right guy i'm talking about at least i think it, it's the right guy and because of this he changed his model to to this which is you know a a appeasing his abusers i guess i don't understand it but this guy has been making content since like 2013 something like that he makes commentary videos and drama videos like most of these guys do and he made this video called This VTuber Likes Little Boys because that's, you know, not misleading in the fucking slightest. Uh, let's, let's get through this. Th this one's fucking long. Crikey. Listen, how you guys doing, you little tiny human beings? Drama is never something you rush. This is something you gotta ease into, you feel me? You gotta pull up a, ch a chair, grab you some snacks. What's the tea, sis? I'm about to bring it up right now, bro. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. Listen, we got a whole motherfucking list of shit that just happened. It is crazy. Okay, so if you guys don't follow VTube shits, I'm gonna zoom in right now. Ah, da! Look at this. Okay, so look, we got the drama. This is the tea. This is what you fucking clicked on here for, you nosy peasants. I know you guys already seen it. You motherfuckers are nosy, but I know a lot of you guys aren't really caught up to like VTube drama news and all that. So if you don't know, there is corporate VTubers and there's indie VTubers. I am a indie VTuber. As such, I get to do whatever the fuck I want and I don't have to worry about shit. No company telling me nothing, saying you don't do this. Don't play that game. Don't yeah, listen to that music. But when you're a corp, okay, when you're a corpo. Sup, 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 sup. Hold up. Ah, nah. Look at this. Okay, so look, we got the drama. This is the tea. I, I sped it up by 20%. This is what you fucking clicked on here for, you nosy peasants. I know you guys already seen it. You motherfuckers are nosy, but I know a lot of you guys aren't really caught up to like VTube drama news and all that. So if you don't know, there is corporate VTubers and there's indie VTubers. I am a indie VTuber. As such, I get to do whatever the fuck I want and I don't have to worry about shit. No company telling me nothing, saying you don't do this. Don't play. No, no, only people on Twitter canceling you because you're too fucking light, light skinned to be black, according to them. That's fucking awesome. 
A corpo would at least try to protect you against that shit. That game. Don't listen to that music. But when you're a corp, okay, when you're a corpo, when you're under a contract, you have to abide by the rules. You're locked up. So they packed her up. They smoking a pack right now. They smoking Zion Lonza. What a fucking last name that is. She violated her contract. She was on suspension for a while. I don't know, maybe like a month or two, chat. I don't really know too much. But I do know they packed her up and here are the reasons why. She used copyrighted music on her streams, revealing internal information. She was doing a whole, they gave a whole fucking list. I'm gonna be honest, I can only imagine how messy it is backstream. I would really love to get her on stream. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanna see, I don't, I don't know if she did anything super bad. I know you guys always drag everything. Someone's gonna be like, I hate Pop-Tarts. And they're like, you don't like the LGBT? You know what I mean? Y'all motherfuckers go crazy with it and shit. But I swear to God, I wanna bring her on stream just to hear her fucking, like just to see how the workings was. You feel me? Um, So someone, someone made a quote retweet. Let me see if I can find it, dude. I was re Reading it and bro, it was so much. She He'd like to bring her on stream after he made a video on their uh on her called This VTuber likes little boys. She violated so much in his goddamn contract, it's insane. Isn't she a Shodacon? What's a Shodacon chat? Shoda Mind you, this dude has been making uh anime related and drama related videos since 2013 and he doesn't know what a Shoda or a Shodacon is. And he's apparently also a huge anime fan, so I don't know how he missed that. Must be only uh mainstream anime watcher, I guess. Con, that sounds like a battle. Like I'm a, I'm a show to con, and you about to fight someone or some shit. Um, she likes little boys. Oh, oh sh. <sighs> don't want to bring that for you anymore. <laughs> Oh, damn. Well, that lasted a little bit. <laughs> I kind of wanted to ask her, like, how, like, Niji Sanji was behind the scenes and everything. Okay, so, what did she do? She used copyrighted music. She revealed internal information that could potentially cause issues for shareholders on her stream. She makes statements that could lead to speculation or leaking internal information. Uh, making statements that could lead to speculation, offensive remarks regarding discrimination and sexual assault. Jesus Christ. Several infringements of the rules pertaining to the use of games defined and- What? Uh, expresses her- Damn. Giving false information to other Niji Sanji livers regarding the contents of her communication. Oh, shit. Yo, she was lying. So what she did, right? She she went say, Niji Sanji is the mom, right? And, and she went she went to the other siblings like, Mom said I could do this. And then the, the kids went to, to the mom like, is this true? And the mom was like, no, that ain't true. You grounded, bad child type shit. Mm. Falsely claiming to have received permadoms. Falsely claiming to be sponsored by a brand. Giving likes to comments. Fall this is probably my favorite. Okay, so she was like, comments that were being mean to the niji sanji members <laughs> this is my favorite comment this yeah and the ones that were shitting on her too because you know it, it, it's always it, it's always fun to do that this has to be my favorite one like all this other shit is really bad you don't do this as a no especially when you're under contract this shit is just petty this is like you don't like your team members and you're just like fucking liking comments like imagine me going to a comment that was like Kai sounds so stupid, he's ugly, and I like it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's right, yeah, he is. Like, bro, imagine. Uh, numerous other actions and comments infringing on uh, contract and rules. Yeah, so this is this is insane. Um, I kind of want to talk on this. <sighs> One, it's scary. I feel bad for any VTuber that's under contract with any corporation, okay? Is Nichi Sanji wrong for terminating her? Of course not. The sound weird from what y'all telling me. Um, how is she not getting dragged? The fuck? I think I, I think she is getting dragged. That is crazy, bro. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve things. And there's more. Th the sound is like this because I sped it, sped him up by twenty percent. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here for a very long time. They're saying there's more. Fucking crazy. She deserved it for sure. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Y'all telling me she's a show to con. I don't know. One show though. That bitch, she conned him, I guess. I don't know. There's more. Yeah, look, read, bro. They said numerous actions and other uh, comments infringing on contract rules. I think the craziest part to me is commenting on, liking comments that were defaming the other livers. That is crazy to me. It's kind of wild. She only lasted a month. She only lasted a month? Holy shit. Um, she debuted in December. So she had, she was three months in. I saw three months in. No, she was suspended for like a month. So like two months. Um, you're not wrong. They must have did a crazy investigation on her, bro. She's doing multiple violations a week. Holy shit. Can, does anyone have links of like clips she was doing? Oh, let's go. We have a list. Waiting for that graduation announcement. Oh, so this is her? This is ho This is her? Isekai. ZZZ. Let's see. Zion is a Shodokan. Uh, let's watch this. Shodokan. So you guys are saying like she likes kids. So she's a Why don't you? Why? Yeah, yeah, dude. I think you're you're gonna have her on on your fucking stream when you call her call her fucking pedophile. Like these fucking dudes. I I, I wish they fucking got to you because you're appeasing the same people that canceled you for your fucking skin color. I I don't know how this dude exists within the same fucking community as these people. Okay, pause. But listen to me right now. Why are we not calling that? Like, why are we not calling her? 
Call it how it is, chat. Shotokan. Y'all throwing, like, words that I don't even know. I thought Shotokan sound cool to me for a second. I was like, oh, wow, it's like an anime. Like, what the fuck? Okay, let's see. Uh, no, no fucking comment. A lot of people ask me to use Yolan, but guys, I can't use Yolan. I don't have anything on her. <laughs> I, I was, I'm not too into her, you know? She's just not my type. Yeah. Yeah. I love little boys. Yeah. What do you mean by that? This could go, this could go one or two ways. This could go one or two ways. Oh, well, hold on, wait. Maybe this was taken out of context. <laughs> and so I use little boys. Oh, okay. I, like her, I think she's cool. It's not, but this is because this was made during his stream and people just sending him shit and he's just re reacting to it. I'd rather have a daddy than a mommy. And a little boy than a mommy. Okay, alright. Now it's, now it's kind of getting sexual in a weird way. He's cool. You know, I'd rather have a daddy than a mommy and a little boy than a mommy. Oh, also, um, I I'm not privy to release more information about this, but... I already mentioned it, but uh, Zion's, Sayu's friends, are actually working behind the scenes to do something about the defamation, the harassment, and the doxing attempts that were uh, levied against Zion and slash Sayu. So if this might be part of it, we'll see if this video stays up. It's still up. Depending on uh, what they do behind the scenes, might not be up for much longer. We'll have to wait and see. Again, I, I don't know much more about that, but that's a thing that's being worked on. Uh... <laughs> okay, kind of weird. Kind of weird. She said, I would rather have a mommy than a daddy and a, a little boy over at the... I don't even know what the fuck happened. Kind of weird. Is there any more chat? What is this? Oh! Man, no wonder she got. I mean, uh, I mean. Oh no! Oh no! This is crazy. Yeah. I know the shit. Hey, dog. Oh my god, the motherfuckers managing these talents are stressed the fuck out. I can only imagine. I feel like I would be more likely to get here. Anyway. What? It gets better, bro. It just keeps on fumbling more and more. Let's see. Oh look, it's beautiful Venti in all his nakedness. Ah oh, yes. Huh? As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds into him. Huh? Into the sky he flew. He rose, and then he he got to, he, he became the pinnacle. The breeze was but the breeze was all too mild. So maybe he didn't maybe he didn't make it all the way to the top. Okay? But I'm just saying I'm just reading what they wrote. It said thrust. Okay? Uh -huh. And the wind shoved it to who has incomparable strength into him. And then he said, Oh no! He threw himself off the cliff and clapped his wings against the howling wind. Uh -huh. yeah, beautiful story, right? Ken just got a great story, guys. I don't know. I don't know if you've ever um. I don't know if you've ever read it. Mm-hmm. Look at that ass! Oh, yeah. You said seeds! It said seeds on the screen! I swear that Okay. I, I make jokes like that ass all the time and shit like that. But when it's directed always towards little boys, that's kind of creepy. This is another clip from her. Uh, Zionites sound pretty cool. Zionites? I don't know if we can do that. Can we? Are we allowed to do that? Because, like, I see you guys down there! That's a dope uh, background, dude. Isn't, isn't that like, you know, I, I remember someone made like the joke of like Zion, Queen of the Jews. I'm like, wait, I'm not, yeah, wait, 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 like, I, I don't e. think we can do that. <laughs> not that kind of Zion. Hold Basically sending him all, all the anti-Zion shit that was supposed to be, uh, you know, the Bart parts. They tried to paint her as anti-Semitic too for, for, uh, for uttering the, the word Jews and telling her chat not to... Uh, associated with uh, with a title like Queen of the Jews. Because, you know, that's apparently uh, anti-Semitic. Tell chat not to do that. I don't know. I don't... I'm... I, I don't know about... What the fuck is a Zion? I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm so ignorant when it comes to this shit. I don't know what a fucking Zionite or Zion is. I don't know what to be offended about here. Someone's gonna have to break that one down to me in the comments. Uh, damn. At least pretend to be sorry, miss ma'am. Uh, I never cared where I was. I was... I was... What the fuck? I never cared where I was. I never changed who I was. I only want to change for the better for, of you guys. And y'all are always the most important. Mm, who the fuck is this? Oh, that's her, that's her other shit. Someone sent me this. She sits upon the hand of the ruined guards and slaps her ass real hard with it. Okay? Like, if you're either a man, let me tell you, you're in for a smacking. <laughs> Look at the Shoda! Woohoo! Shoda number one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he, he back all right. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, Shotokan? Just maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, okay? It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know, it's the basement's awfully empty, like, right now. It's it's very empty in this- Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean, Shotokan? Just maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, okay? It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know, it's the basement's awfully-
totally empty like right now. It's it's very empty in this world. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It'll it'll fill up soon. She's the. It'll fill up soon. It's crazy. Hold on, bro. I actually gotta get a definition of it, like Shodokan. Uh, a Shodokan. Shodokan. I'm still surprised that the the guy doesn't know this. Apparently, being a big anime fan and shit. Sometimes shortened to Shoda is a Japanese slang phrase of Shotanandam complex and describes an attraction to young boys or an individual with such an attraction. Outside Japan, the term is used less often with this meaning. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think outside of Japan we don't use Shotokan. I think we use very creepy. I think I think the problem, the the huge problem, and why livers get so fucking like they just get canceled on debut is just because you're, you're perceived like you you might not think you're problematic, and then you're perceived by so many people, like thousands of people, all at once. You know. Yeah. Let's not talk about Niji Sanji fans and you know what kind of fandom Niji Sanji and livers have, because they intersect with all of these terrible fandoms, like the Genshin Impact one. If you notice, the people that actually harassed, uh, all that wanted Zion gone and then celebrated her termination, you're gonna have find K-pop stands. You're gonna find minors. You're gonna fi uh, find other uh, dumb fucking Niji Sanji Yen fans, uh, especially Foxakuma ones for whatever fucking reason. But they were very popular in uh in zion's cancellation arc and then what else is there like there's an intersection of all annoying uh fandoms in there that uh went after her uh, let's not for forget about the docs that uh some of them were spreading spreading around Let let's move on you know what i mean and all the weird shit you would say it's like on display for everybody bro let's see there's another one right here oh god what what type is this thing Squall that oh god I was about to make a really bad joke that I don't know if I can make. What joke would you make? Squovit. <laughs> do it, no, do I'm it. Not gonna have another mod. <laughs> I'll cut it out of the mod later. I was gonna say he's from the Squoviet. What? You know, something rather, but you guys. You could get canceled for that? That wasn't that bad. Russian joke, probably. That was bad. Soviet? Soviet Union? First, that's not even a funny fucking joke. If I'm like Soviet Union right now, like that's canceled, it's a Nazi joke. What the fuck? Is Nazi a Soviet Union? American education fucking system in front of you. Let me see. Uh, Soviet Union. Uh, officially, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republicans was a trend. Soviet, Soviet Republicans, says so Socialist Republics. Like, you would probably should go, go back to, uh, to school. And I don't mean high school, primary school. Some dumb. I got no idea what the fuck this is. All right, we got more. I have no idea what the fuck this is. Uh... Take notes. Um, remember that being, you know, if you if you can't take being wet, make sure you do it with a buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Shelter door stupid. Okay. 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 Ao. Yep. 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 Remember, guys, that's why we're all here together, so that we all have buddies, and then we don't have to, you know, we don't have to suffer together, or you know, you know, we succeed together. You know. It's mm -hmm. good. Yep. There's a lot of a lot of good. You know how you have like every Genshin account has virginity until like. This guy isn't a teenager. He's been making videos since 2013. He's like in his 20s or something. You swipe. I swiped my virginity card, and then I, um, and then I spent some of it, you know, and I immediately proceeded to, like, spend some of it. So, take away, like, ten minutes. You know, take away, like, ten minutes. I don't... Uh, okay, where are we going? I don't... I might get this nice, nice, nice young man. I don't get what the fuck is going on right now. What are we talking about here? Okay, where are we going? I might get this nice, nice, nice young man, you know, who is not really a man, he's a boy, but, um, I don't mind, you know, I like him small. Oh, my... That's cool. I'm not the most unsay so. I am much say so. Mm, yes, much say so. There's just a lot of balls in this game. <sighs> okay. All right. I mean, she might. Uh, she might have some type of. She gotta go to therapy or something, bro. There's something there. I, I can't even tell if it's a joke because it's so unfunny. You know what I mean? I I really can't tell if it's a joke because it's so fucking unfunny. So I don't know. She's 36. That kind of makes it worse. That kind of makes it worse. It's just really weird. You feel me? I feel like, you, can I even, I don't even think I can make a joke funny enough to make it. Cause okay, okay, here's here's what I think. Here's what I think about jokes, okay? There's like a fine line, a very fine line when it comes to jokes and controversy that you kind of got to tiptoe around, you feel me? And if it's not funny, you're going to get canceled. You know what I mean? And But if it's like, it's dark humor, 
Yeah, but like what kind of dark? Like basement dark where she's keeping her little fucking kids? You know what I mean? There you go. I got a joke right there. Gotcha, bitch ass. I knew I could get one for you. I knew I could get one for you, chat. Found that motherfucker. But what the fuck are you talking about? Come on, chat. I got you. Can't you stop? What, bro? <laughs> Tap yourself on the no, fucking No, but what back. I'm saying is, it's really hard to make a joke like that and not come off as fucking creepy. You feel me? And it's, ve it's very, very, very hard, especially if you're not fucking funny. Every clip I've seen about her talking about little boys, I don't know if it's a joke or not. And it's, even if it was a joke, it's not funny. It just comes off as creepy. She's quite weird. Okay, so yeah, again, um, I think it's really, really hard. And this is why a lot of like livers get canceled so fast because it's, so they just have like they. I want to say unique, not not in this. This. No, they get canceled because their fandom is super fucking sensitive about anything. I don't know if you guys remember that one, but um, which one? Which one was it? One of the livers, one of the Yen livers. I forgot which one it was. They have so many fucking dramas, <laughs> even I keep forgetting. But one of them got uh, fucking cancelled for uh, making a, a joke about a Genshin character's name, and they dragged him through the mud. I th was it Luca? Or, or who was it? I I, I forgot. But they basically dragged him for that too, because he dared to make a name, uh, make a joke about the Genshin fucking character's name. This is quite unique. This is almost a little too, bitch. This is like prison unique. You know what I mean? But like other livers, I feel like they have, they have to have some type of entertaining factor to them. You know what I mean? So they have to have a unique personality. Um, exclude. Yeah, the unique personality is, uh, is sex jokes and I'll fuck your mom. Her. This is just weird. Um, so when they're exposed to a really large audience, they're not. Oh, yeah, it was Mister. Yeah, it, it wasn't Luca. It was Mister that uh, they had that, and they doxed him for that too. Fucking fantastic fandom for everybody. I'm not. I'm not talking about this bitch though. This bitch is just completely weird, out of pocket. She deserved termination. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of weird. Oh, there's more. What is this? So this is her old. Her old VTuber. Actually, no. I just put it this way. I think the kids are just the most durable. Yeah. These two. These two show does, and then this kid back here. Um. You okay, kid? You okay? See, uh, Zoomers will never get this, um, they will never get Lolly and Shoda jokes, especially since Sayu is, uh, is in her 30s, that, that, that is something that is, uh, at least confirmed, and, and they doxed her too, so, and, and Sayu wasn't that, uh, picky about hiding it either, but yeah, it, it, during my time, uh, on the fucking internet, you could make all kinds of fucking jokes and there there was no problem because people knew we were talking about fictional characters. You go on a forum, make all the lolly and show the jokes you wanted, and, and no one better than I. Everyone just played their own. He just kinda got No, this is actually like scary. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's fine. Yeah, okay. He, he just got hit by lightning, but that's fine, you know. If it hit me, that would hurt, but no, it doesn't hurt him, you know. I don't know how these zoomers go through life being so overtly fucking sensitive to everything and thinking everything is is creepy and needs to go the fuck away. Zoomers nowadays build different. Holy shit. I don't know, bro. It's too much with the little kid shit, and it's really, really weird. Like, I'm just saying, bro, the fact that I don't even know how to word this, bro. This is weird as shit. <sighs> I take back what I said in the beginning of the motherfucking shit. I'm not bringing her on my shit at all. Sorry. What the fuck? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just got. If you go overboard, then you already did, considering you call her a pedophile. Your video might not have long to live. Got a message. This is like her past life follow message of her old account, and this is what it would say. The Amlanum and her followers has kidnapped, I mean, invited a youngling into her shrine's lower floor. Sayu has 26 shodas in her basement. Oh, this lost her mind chat no this is this this can't you can't get any weirder bro at this point you cannot get any weirder this solidified the weird shit bitch i want to see her goddamn uh i want to see her fucking her history imagine imagine her fucking history on her computer right now oh my god her search history is probably crazy holy shit chat oh shit we tried to talk to her let's see what this is dude so first things first um about the termination honestly uh what's said in the announcement is pretty simple and clear i feel like we tried really hard to discuss things over with her about her mistakes and we did our best damn she she's lagging like a motherfucker to help too my fault but um it turns out that we were just very unaware of the situation as a whole um we yeah we did warn her about if things if she does take things too far then she might have to go <laughs> levi <laughs> but again I, we couldn't stop her from doing the actions that she did so and um my personal opinion about mm -hmm. this talk to me is, um well well first of all um I don't know everything about her acts as a liver for Niji Sanji, 
So I cannot speak to say that I am aware of all the situation or know the exact mistakes that she made that caused the problem. I'm not a know it all about this, but based on some factors that I am aware of, mm -hmm. I cannot. I can say that I cannot agree with the statements and actions. That she Wait, can, can she not agree or not not agree? I'm lost. I can say that I cannot agree with the statements and actions. I'm not that with she this did. Oh, that she did. Heard you, heard you, heard you. My fault. I wasn't. I can say that. Yep. Yep doesn't know much know how to make logical conclusions based on what he is hearing i, I guess uh, being stupid is a matter there's been a lot of things behind the scenes too. I'm, I'm very sorry if i'm like not clear with some of the things that i'm saying okay terminated oh he says something about it Zion, I, oh I, you know Twinks and i still do think so she's a great person she is she's is a great person i think she's a very talented uh content creator damn um, they I, all talking about it I I'm just saying, DJ, y'all. Please throw me $25. I will bring you so much clout. I don't think you understand. Personality is huge. Dick is bigger. You feel me? I'll helicopter this shit for you if you want. Hit me up. $25 a month. That's all I'm asking. And for me, I kind of didn't want her to leave because, well, because of different reasons, but I'll get to that in a, in a bit. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. as you know, as, if you guys have not surmised by now. From I think she had to go, sir. Watch your mouth. The announcements. Uh, this wasn't just the one oopsie you're out situation, right? Um, this was a compilation. Trust me, we've seen the list as a big ass compilation. Right there. That she made many choices. Many, many choices. She just didn't care. That I don't think any of us condone. There were many things that she did, and frankly, that I, I frankly just say, yeah, okay, that's... Mm. I mean, he does He does a, have a large following. He has several channels. I think his largest is like 400,000, something like that. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> the reason why I'm a little disappointed... I, I mean, I could shit on him all I want, but he does have a large channel. But, you know, I don't feel bad that people like that have large channels. It means everyone can have large channel if a dude like that can have one. With how things happened was because I... So never feel bad. Like if you're on YouTube and you have like a channel that has like hundreds, like a couple of hundred subscribers, less than that, or like a thousand, something like that. Don't feel bad because retards like this can have a popular channel too. Anyone can be popular on the internet. Feel like... And obviously, um, Zion might think about it away. And for what it's worth, um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to be like, oh, well, you should have done this, you should have done that. I don't really like that. <sighs> I'm be, I'm, okay, I'm pausing it. I don't want to hear it anymore. This motherfucker being way too polite. He, he sounds. Un I have more respect for you, one sub than this guy's four hundred thousand. Sure, it sounds like he still wants the bitch on the team. From my point of view, she had to go. She had to bounce, my boy. All right, he's like, you don't know anything about her. You just found out about her, like. Yeah, informed opinion. Being like politically correct, trying to dance over it. Uh, yeah, I'm good on that, bro. I, I don't want to watch that shit anymore. Um, on, I'm reading this tweet right now. To those defending Zion and saying it was a simple mistake and she shouldn't have gotten terminated for it or whatever the lame excuse, blah, blah, blah. Hex deadass said uh, she didn't want to listen to the point. The mum, 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 she has a blood issue. And there was a lot of conversation. Okay, well, Morgan Freeman, get the fuck out of my ear. Who gave me this demon? Which, which money you motherfuckers linked it? They want to hack cancel Hex too, but Hex has his own fucking problems that I'd say are maybe more serious than uh, Zion's problems. Uh, Zion didn't want to listen to anybody. She wanted her talent freedom, but Hex uh, wants his talent freedom and probably something else on top of that. Shit! <laughs> I just got jump scared, bro. Alright, hold on. But the accusations against Hex, some of them are wild too. Uh, especially made by his fans. I even have it like a cancellation document reading video on this shit. It, it's wild. Some of the, some of the stuff there is is legit. It's weird, and the rest is just uh, normal Niji Sanji and cancellation uh, um, schematic. I could say. Let me play this back. And there was a lot of conversation back and forth. I bet I can do this voice. How much you want to bet? There's a lot of conversation back and forth. I'm so good. I'm so fucking good. Yo, fuck you, chat. And there were a lot of disagreements back and forth. You sound like and you want to fuck me. Therefore, because of said disagreements, there were a lot of subsequent disappointments. Uh, and we, we really did try as Pink hard as candle, we could. man. Mm. We tried to talk through things. And eventually, there just, there just wasn't any more words to say. That's probably during the suspension. I wonder if they were talking. Like, that's what they're talking about. Where, like, we try to talk to her, try to work this out type shit. You feel me? It, it always hurts. When you get to the point where you, you, you've exhausted as many words as you can, you've exhausted conversation, and you've tried to... X is, uh, 
another ex little VTuber from Niji Sanji. Figure out many, many ways to word uh, different sentences, different paragraphs. I feel like bro about to beat my ass because I stole some gum in a gas station. <laughs> I'm vengeance. <laughs> my fault, bro. My fault. No love, no hate, no hate. This is a clip of her old shit. Yikes, let's see how this goes. You don't turn down a Shoda's hand. A young boy. A young boy's hand, yes. This is such a creepy yeah. bit. This is so oh, creepy. I feel like it's just like, oh, there has to be like two things. There's two things that's going on here. Okay, chat, I'm telling you right now. There's two things. Either it's a bit that she genuinely thinks is funny and she thinks it's like chat's loving it. She's Wow, you don't fucking say. It, it took you how many minutes to realize that? 20? Over 20 because this is like a condensed stream, so it probably took hours for this guy to re realize that's a fucking joke. Choking on my own words. Fucking hilarious. Like, it has to be either like a bit and she thinks it's the funniest thing in the world, or this. There's there's one or two. There's there's one or two. The bitch needs jail time. Ain't no fucking way. If, I wonder if the live. I wonder what the conversation was between her and the other Niji Sanji members talking about like, hey, can you stop talking about little boys? And she's like, no, it's funny to me. I like little boys. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I wonder if that was the conversation. I can only imagine, bro. I can only imagine the conversation. They're like, listen, you could do whatever. Okay, we got Niji Sanji members getting canceled for saying that. Well, you know what I mean? Get it together. We're not asking for too much. Just just say you don't like little boys and we'll be fine. Let's make this money. And she's like. I like little boys. <laughs> like, that's what she's doing, bro. I can't fucking get... What the fuck is going on? Holy shit. All on... Mind you, when uh, Zion was making the Shoda jokes on her streams, people were fucking digging it. You, you can find it cringeworthy or whatever the fuck you want. It, it's fucking Twitter that went on the cancellation arc. Nobody fucking else. There's another clip. Oh no, this clip is called Boys Over Men. Again, oh no. Man, it's... Yeah. Boy, it's a man, but I kind of like I like little boys. I right now I'm feeling the little boys. I'm feeling the little boy energy. Um, but that's okay. It's not like I have like no books for him. I have literally nothing for this guy. Uh, Ew. It's, it's fine. Wow, I actually have nothing. How long has it been since I used him? What do you mean? Oh, okay, bro. You guys know you like little boys better too. What? Okay, all right. That, Yo, I, oh, <laughs> Yo, we can't be fucking. Nice. Are we serious nice. right now? Yo, are you right? I'm telling. Are we serious right now? There's no way Niji Sanji seeing these clips. I was like, that's gonna be our next liver. What the? F is going on? Explain to me what the fuck is happening. Niji Sanji has plenty of Shodacons and Lolicons on board. This is irrelevant. Okay, that boy is clearly legal. He's the wrong one. Um, you like what? I like little boys. Who doesn't like little boys? Okay, fuck. Wait, all right. You know what? Yo, did you hear this? This bitch is lost. Yo, she lost her fucking mind. And this was, how old was this? Eight months ago. What is going on right now? What is happening? If you're new, consider um following chat. If you want to come through. Uh, if you're here just for the fucking drama and shit. There you go, dude. You got it all for you. Sup, sup. Rain rolled it. At least we went through one of the longest videos. Man, man, man. We, st we still have a few to go. This was brain dead. Sup, sup, sup. And, uh, and again, I, I don't feel bad. Anyone can be popular if a guy like that can be popular. Zoomers. I will never get Zoomers. What do we have left? Oh, we have a Ween video and we have a Venti video. Which one do you want first, chat? Uh, do you want the Ween or do you want Venti? Both are going to be terrible, but you know. One's a Zoomer. Is Venti a zoomer too? I think she's a zoomer too. So, got two zoomers left. We Venti, 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 Venti. Which one's less annoying? We're not playing these games, chat. We already passed uh, which one is more annoying. I I'll go with venting. Let let's 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 get this bitch out of the way first because, like, she gives me actual brain damage and makes me mad. Like seriously, upset. The Iron Mouse shit she did. Uh, in case some of you don't know, she basically uh, tried to character assassinate Iron Mouse on one of her streams. Um, took cherry picked uh, clips of her stream, trying to paint her in the worst light possible. 
saying she does Coomer content and that she raises uh, the pitch of her voice to appeal uh, pedophiles. Basically the same shit with, uh, with Gura. But yeah, but let's go. Uh, let's go with Venti's new fucking video called The Normalization of Being Attracted to Children. Let's go. Please do not harass or bully anyone mentioned in this video. Only I can do that. I'm I'm a hammerhead shark woman. Oh my god. Twitch is basically um like a hundred thousand dollars a month, uh, for my numbers. Uh like you know, subs plus mm -hmm. view count average. And then OF is like one point five million a month, so <laughs> there's a big difference. <laughs> Twitch is a billboard that I get paid to advertise on. You wouldn't think that you would actually have to make content that speaks on why you shouldn't do blatantly immoral things, but here we are several years later having to come back to the same topic that riled everyone up. And it's only gotten worse over time, and that topic is... I, I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to skip to the VTuber parts of this, because, again, it's Venti and she's like the most annoying woman I know. Uh, Lunaris, thank you for five dollars. Win's video sucked, but at least he redeemed himself by agreeing to help out with the baby blue thing. I do agree with that, but y you know why he did that. Th this is all, you know, cloud thing. And his videos on lollies is like four times longer than his videos on the baby blue stuff. But I do agree that pointing these f things out is actually helpful. To a degree, even if the dude doesn't really mean it. But yeah, skipping to the VTuber part with Venti is probably the best thing to do. Oh yeah, where was it? You censor me because. Oh yeah, here's a uh, uh, here's the covered clover because she can't pronounce cover pro correctly. She tried to censor me you're not allowed to have an opinion and it's not a surprise that again the opinion is uh trying to paint gura as a uh, as a pet pedo bait vtuber and her fan base as predators that's the opinion lolicons wouldn't really support freedom of speech people who are attracted to the imagery and behaviors of toddlers what was the word for that again they're not exactly the most morally upstanding people, but I do want to... Again, uh, it's fucking fantastic to determine someone's morality based on the fiction they consume, but we're in 2023, so I guess we'll do that. Acknowledge that a lot of these people didn't start out this way. They weren't born being sexually attracted to infantile behavior and the appearances of a toddler. Our culture has become very hypersexualized, and that has also affected anime and its rising in popularity and what type of anime we are getting now versus 25 years ago. Cultured. When anime had more mature themes and darker. <laughs> I, uh, that, that's such a ignorant take. Lolly, lollicon shit was always there. And I'd even say there was more of it at, at the time that she's referring to. It, it wasn't like, oh, anime used to be so mature and dark, full metal alchemist, the, the, the first one color palettes, and a little more soul to it. Anime is like full metal alchemist, Inuyasha, and you know, Yasha, serious anime. Dragon Ball for uh, girls. There are other ones as well that I haven't personally watched, but have been regarded. Did, did you know that there's a there's a boy in Ghost in the Shell that tries to fuck her, and she turns him down? You, you'd know this. Started as very good mature themed animes like yeah, only mature anime for mat mature anime connoisseurs like Brittany Venti. Ghost in the Shell, Berserk, they give- uh, Berserk that has naked uh, little girls in it. <laughs> and, and it's not, uh, they aren't portrayed there to make some sort of critique on uh, sexualizing minors. This is for fan service. That's Shirka ass, I remember. 
very different vibes than the anime that is out today. Not that I haven't personally seen some modern anime, but it seems that Fucking the fan Jojo. service is just thrown in for the sake of being sexual as opposed to actually relating to the plot or having comedic value. I mean, fan service is for comedic value, so I don't know what the point is trying to make. I mean, one of the reasons is titillation and the other one is, you know, for comedic purposes usually for comedic purposes and the titillation comes second it all, all depends on your taste i guess the focus of it is the sexual aspect what will make our audience horny what will make them want to consume more and this cultural issue also applies to places like youtube and twitch where there is little friction stopping young children from watching and joining in on these discussions or even developing addictions that they would not have otherwise because you can just go on twitch when you're 12 years old and watch very explicit content that opens the gateways to pornography addiction yeah but where are the parents then why do we always blame the platforms? I at least think the streamers that do this kind of content have the good sense to mark themselves as adult only. And then, you know, the problem doesn't disappear. Kids will still find this content. But keeping them away from this content is the parents' responsibility. But what I'm, what the fuck am I talking about? Have you seen responsible parents in, in this year? I haven't. Considering what their fucking children are, are doing on Twitter telling others to kill themselves over drawings. Of course, there's no parental supervision. It is a billboard that I get paid to advertise on. We can see that in the generation of people who are Zoomers slash Zillennials, we can see that that group of people has been affected by pornography being thrown in their faces. Like any other drug addiction where you need a harder and harder hit, these porn addictions have led to some very disturbing immoral content and it has become a very big issue with accessibility to pornography and children using it children and adults are able to access explicit content of children and train their brains to be attracted to these prepubescent children that is actually how pornography can change your brain not to mention that a lot of the time when people watch it, they don't really know where it's being sourced from or how old the participants are, and sometimes they're not even consensually participating. As shown by the... If we're talking about real stuff, when we talk about drawings, you'd automatically assume that the shit isn't real and not based on anyone that's alive. Takedown of Pornhub's content, for example, they took down 80% of their content due to the potential of there being non-consensual content there. And I say... Pot See, uh, among the things that she talks about, she makes some good points, even though she uh, sources some things wrong sometimes. Sometimes she makes good points. I'll give her credit for that. Even though I know she doesn't care about any of that shit, but then she goes on to bidding on VTubers and cartoons and proceeds to character assassinate and defame. So, you know, that's where the credit line ends. Potential, but this did actually happen on several occasions. Yeah, I'm, I'm skipping some of this because she, she just goes on a, on a rant. Let's go back to the VTubers. Porn addiction bad, porn addiction bad. Ch children, I I'm not showing that because she's uh, she's recorded showing that. These are I images sourced from uh, real children, and Pixie had a problem with that. And because uh, not only people have been making really super realistic I images of minors and uploading them to Pixie based on real children, we've also been uploading. Some uh, pretty vile 3D shit based on real miners. Pixie cracked down on that. So, at least I give her points on that, that this is a problem when it's made out, out of actual fucking miners. So, yeah, it, it is a fucking problem. And then she goes on, on the Lorlicon shit. What else would this content be for? Because it's not for the women who want children and are interested in being moms. I am one of those individuals and I'm telling you that that content is not for me. The hyper-realistic explicit details where they're adding every curvature of their ass cheeks in these swimsuits and time- 
Oh, the hyper-realistic ash cheeks on the normally uh, not human-looking character. That's that hyper-realistic ash cheeks. Tiny bikinis with absolutely zero semblance to an adult. This is very clearly meant to sexualize them. And I want to remind you that I found these images by searching the word lolicon in Japanese. You would not be searching lolicon to find cute photos of children like you would find a cute kitten. You're typing lolicon to find explicit content that depicts prepubescent bodies. And keep in mind, the people who say that they are lolicons that are referring to the anime form, they are searching this same term. So you have to wonder why were there so many hyper-realistic explicit photos of toddlers on Pixiv. All you have to do is log into because actual predators have been using real kids too. They upload them there. That's why Pixiv has been cracking down on it. To an account, you could just make one by making a Google account, Apple account, and you just type in one word, Lollicon. Keep in mind, not only are these images out in the open and very accessible and come up when you type in Lollicon on the first page, but for it to be the first page of results, it signifies that this is popular content for those who search Lollicon. So imagine that images like these are popping up of a little sister or maybe your nephew. Stop showing hyperrealistic children in your videos. Because a lot of these are actually based on children and uh, you're basically distributing at this point. Nope. 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 Censoring, the, it doesn't help. You're uh, kind of retarded. Skipping this, skipping this, skipping this. He goes on the rant about art, <laughs> about classical art, and <laughs> how uh, this isn't the problem because this was for artistic, artistic purposes. Uh, more ranting about, oh, and, and she gets to Rev and the Dakimakura shit. Has it out for Rev too. Let's get on that. Acting how we have relationships with one another, how we treat one another, and it is also affecting children. Which brings me to why I am talking about Rev Says Des and his videos this, this. about this content and him promoting Lollicon to his 600,000 plus subscribers on YouTube. He is helping. He should, he should get more. Get 1 million so, she, so she's more jealous. And and she is jealous. Uh, don't be fooled. You'll, you'll see that jealousy. Normalize this dysfunction in our culture. And a lot of people who are subscribed to him don't even realize that it's dysfunctional because this is what they grew up around. I have been watching anime since I can remember. So I understand how it's been normalized and why some people may be... It, it existed since before you were born, since before even I was born. It, it's normalized in otaku culture, anime manga culture. You you won't go and see this being okay in any other sort of uh, non-deranged uh, context uh, outside of fiction, uh, unless you're looking for actual sex predators. But to Venti, both of these things are the same, so what am I even talking about? reluctant to self-evaluate whether or not these are good things just because they were an anime does not make it a good thing and i'm hoping that some people will understand that watching this and reconsider what lolicon does to our culture and what it actually is what, what culture what what is our our culture our western chat catholic culture i i, I don't know what she means by our so with that said rev says des recently released a video. This video has a Lollicon YouTuber that is owned by a larger company, Hollow Live, Cover, the same company that tried to learn to pronounce Cover finally. Censor me. She released what looks to be an intimate photo of herself as a photo. Not a drawing, a photo. Lolly YouTuber on a body pillow and there was a lot of flack for it. I agree. 
the, the, a lot of flack is, is like 10 terminally online people that were told to fuck off in the quarter tweets. With the criticism, I think it's definitely creepy if a guy were snuggling up to a pillow with a picture of what looks like a toddler on it. But you see, Rev... I, I should take this one to the next anime expo I go to. Because I, 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 I will own this eventually when it arrives. Does not seem to agree with this. Cuddling to a body pillow is not a act of sexual nature. Like, cuddling is not inherently sexual. I don't, I don't, like, were you guys that unloved? Do you, are you that unlovable that you think, like, all physical touch, even with an inanimate object, is... For those of you that have duckies, duckies are some of the comfiest pillows that help you sleep at night. They're really, really fucking good. And if you get a good cover, it's even better somehow sexual that's that's pretty sad he seems to believe that like if you if you sleep on your side and you usually have uh, some issues falling asleep you get a ducky that really helps a lot that hypothetically cuddling a child wouldn't be in fact creepy if a grown adult was cuddling with a child that is not their own and i'm not saying i mean gura is is my own <laughs> She's not a child, too. Saying that it's literally cuddling a child when you have the body pillow, obviously. But he brings up the point that cuddling is not sexual. If what he's saying about cuddling being non-intimate and how it's not creepy to cuddle a body pillow of a little girl trying to kiss you and winking at you in her undergarments, then why don't you go cuddle your homies? Surely, if it's not intimate, it should be fine and... I mean, I did that. I, I have my best friend, my best friend who is a former Gura auntie, and I'll cuddle him any, any fucking day. And, and I don't care how it looks like to other people. She's, she's trying to make some kind of fucking point. Perfectly straight to cuddle the homies, right? Using the same logic, I... It is perfectly straight, straight to fucking cuddle your same-sex homie. Some kind of homophobe or something? I want you to go up to people and explain to them how you platonically cuddled the homies. It wasn't gay. You were just appreciating their- Wow, she's fucking stupid. Their aesthetic, right? Did you know there's actually- This is a fucking problem, like, uh, I'll, I'll go fucking, um, uh, men's rights activist for a second here. This is a problem some feminists have with uh, thinking about some men. Men aren't allowed to be intimate in a non-sexual way with other men. Otherwise, they, they are portrayed as gay. And that's supposed to be bad. Because, you know, when men show emotions to other men, to showcase that they care about one another by, you know, engaging in hugs and all of that shit, it immediately has to be gay. I, I, I hate that line of thinking. And this is probably one of the dumbest shit that Venti has said. Holy shit. This bro is fucking dumb. An entire month dedicated to appreciating your homeboys in the bedroom. It actually takes up the entire month of June. So you can actually go celebrate hugging a homeboy with other people who also like to hug their homeboys platonically. And your motto can be... Can this be considered hate speech? <laughs> no homo. Because the more you say no homo, the straighter the hugging becomes. Just like how saying it's not creepy makes it less creepy to cuddle a body pillow with the image of a little girl. Trying to make that correlation that hugging your same-sex same, same sex friend is the same as, as wanting to non-sexually hug a, a pillow that's supposed to be a child in her fucking brain. That's, that's a fucking leap of logic. Holy fuck. On it. In her undergarments, making a kissy a face at you with her arms up to hug you definitely makes it less creepy. If you have a problem with that, then you're no homophobic, okay? And if somebody has a problem with me not making the distinction Based. between a cartoon little girl and a real little girl, Based the capo, uh, the key. I ask you, why is that? Surely, if it's not creepy or intimate and it's fine, it should be okay if you printed the image of a real toddler on a body pillow, right? That no, these things aren't fucking even like, equivalent. Again, cartoons! Please make the distinction. 
That wouldn't get you put on a list or anything. No, because even if it was creepy and pedophilic, if you did the same shit, you'd be thought of as a predator, sure, but <laughs> this wouldn't put you on the list. Or make people. It would make you look like a pedophile if you had a, an actual kid on the body pillow, but... People think you're attracted romantically to children. Honestly, anybody with even a morsel of dating experience knows that this argument is bullshit. If you caught the person you are in a relationship with cuddling someone they are romantically attracted to, most people with dignity would absolutely end the relationship. Honestly, having to explain this... I'd hate to be in a relationship with someone that doesn't respect my weird hobbies. I'd even expect someone to be in a relationship with me and have similar hobbies to me. Because if that person can't respect my hobbies, then I think that person can easily fuck off. I feel like I'm being gaslit. I don't understand how it's not dysfunctional to have a grown man hugging and cuddling up to a body pillow with an image of what looks to be like a little girl. If you don't find this disturbing or dysfunctional- And then she wonders why she get, gets fucking strikes and, and shit on, uh, on fucking YouTube. Censoring that doesn't help and me streaming that doesn't help either. So I, I don't give a fuck at this point though. So. I'll I'll take the fucking beating because I want to share on their content at the same time. Well, then I have a question for you. Why don't you have a seat there and uh, get comfortable for that? Funny about Chris Hansen because Chris Hansen even said don't send him fucking drawings because that's not what he's about. So using him in that context is fucking useless too. The other point that Rev brings up is that it's not about them being a 9,000 year old dragon that makes Lollicon okay, that it's actually just a body type preference. This person thinks liking Lolly characters makes you a pedo, which of course they don't know that it's a body type because they're stupid and don't do any research. But the is. issue with that is that that body type is exclusive to children, prepubescent or very small adults that, uh, you know, are still adults. That happens. And terminally online Twitter people also went after people that uh, to them look like children and tried to sh shame a 20-something-year-old woman for cosplaying uh, Tatsumaki from One Punch Man, calling her, her and her partner pedophiles. Uh, this is the kind of thing you're contributing to when you're trying to make these arguments. <laughs> children. Take a look at Gaoru Gura here. And now let's take Gaoru a look at Gura. a young, petite Japanese woman, since anime is based in Japan and they tend to base it off of- And I can show you a, a woman in her 20s that's a police office officer that uh, actually does look like a child. So, you know, this one, she only has this one image because that's the extent of her research and effort that she puts in puts into these videos. Instead of finding a, a woman that does actually resemble a child and has childlike features, just posts a pretty woman that you know, looks the way she looks like. Their own people and their mannerisms and culture. Now take a look at this stock image of this toddler, who is apparently two to three I, years I don't old. Want to now look tell at me, this which of the two toddler? does Gura look more like? I would neither. say her proportions look damn near identical to the two- She looks like neither of these things. ...year old toddler. There is no way that you're telling me that this passes as a petite woman. And even if you try to make the argument that it's just the art style, well, the issue with that is, in Gura's case, she often infantilizes herself by pitching her voice up. Putting on the high-pitched voice like this in Ulu. Hi! Is it a doll? Isn't that strange? It's pedophilia when the woman that's 20 something year old pitches her voice higher. Let me do this so I can cover you. I'm like a little bunny! Hi, what are you doing? Can I have some? Are you gonna finish that? Blah 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 blah. And there's more. I know, right? I know, right? Mama spoiled me. I'm used to it. 
There are entire TikTok trends making fun of this, ooh, I'm going to pretend to have a soft waist to get things out of men. Because I don't feel bad that this woman goes straight. I, I, I really, I really fucking don't. There's freedom of fucking speech and there's, you know, just slander and defamation. Behavior. And, you know, people are going to go on, oh, uh, you know, YouTube doesn't do that to, uh, to people, but there's community gu guideline strikes as vague as they may be. But she got one of those for uh, one of those past Gura videos. And people keep saying that it was for child endangerment, but nobody actually showed that it was for that. It's just a community guideline strike, so it could be for fucking anything. Oh. Hi, Alice. H things have been fucking terrible. I, I hope you're okay, because we aren't. Fuck, he's calling me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, hello? Hi. Of course this is my real voice. Well, it doesn't I sound like that. Voice? <laughs> Anyways, um, you told me you were gonna buy me the battle pass, but I don't see the transaction. Used to the queue. Well, how about, uh, how about, uh, uh, some of this. There's a difference from being a soft-spoken, high-pitched, voiced woman and literally being a baby. Gurat will spend all day infantilizing herself, Thanks. but then you click onto her Twitter and she's retweeting stuff like this. And she has been for the past two years consistently. What's crazy to me is that VTubers can get away with so much behavior that... Th that you can't because you're not an, an attractive, shark-headed woman. Yeah, I agree with that. Real life girls could not get away with, at least not without being called out. But if you... Uh, uh, hold on. If a real girl of age does this, it, that's a problem? Oh yeah, I, I forgot. This is a problem, actually. She, she doesn't do lewd. She has no simps, even though she has hundreds. And they, they think she can do no wrong. You really should have seen that fucking um, Iron Mouse stream that I did about her. You could have seen her chat. It's full of simps and probably only simps. Call out VTubers for doing similar tactics and trying to make themselves as the object of desire and developing parasocial relationships with their viewers using their sexuality, little boys and men alike. Then you get called just jealous. Funny. See? Here we go with the jealousy stuff. She's gonna show how not jealous she is about everything. The thing about this body pillow in general is that it's not even sexual. It's just girl in pajamas. And people are like, oh my god, this is so gross and sexual. Like, dude, huh? Um, you're wrong, it's you're so wrong, you're wrong. She is cool with Wallycon and Wally things. She is not only very arguably a Wallycon herself, she has made it very clear that she is catering to and completely comfortable with those related communities. That looks like a child, bruh. What the F? You cannot be saying this isn't pedo stuff. I just did. It's not pedo stuff. He's I saying it's not sexual, <laughs> it's not pedo stuff. Meanwhile, in his video, he everything. vehemently defends Gura and how much of a lollicon she is. A lot of the outrage is coming from some of her quote-unquote fans who are shocked that Gura would support such a design for her body pillow. I mean, I don't know if she's still on Twitch. I don't follow her career that often, but I know she's... Uh... Since she has a community guideline strike on YouTube, she cannot stream. And I don't know if she's banned on Twitch or not. And whatever. Shot by Lolly Artwork. Let's play the compilation for anyone still confused where she stands on this issue. Well, are you scared of a little four letter word? Lolly. Lolly. Rory. 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 Kids and. Funny. Uh, oh. uh, oh.
Lollicon is sexual. It's an entire genre of pornography. One of the most popular ones, actually, when you go on hentai websites, it is defined as the attraction of what looks to be a prepubescent girl and their behavior. But once again, Lollicon doesn't have to be sexual. It's just westernness thinking that it is. Lollicon can just be an obsession. It doesn't have to be a sexual thing. And Japanese understand that, but again, Westerners are going to see the way they see it. Behaviors. And not only that, but the origin of the word lolicon, it stems from the book Lolita, where the plotline is a grown man. Uh, except they're not using, the Japanese aren't using lolicon in the same sense. It, it, it's, it stems from a completely different thing than the book. There's even, there's even a, there's even an article and a whole fucking paper on it where this thing actually originated. And it's not, it's, the Japanese don't use it in the sense of the book. And that becomes up. Not that it would fucking matter because this is drawings anyway. Obsessed with a 12 year old girl and has relations with this child. The literal origin of this word is sexual and predatory. No, it's Even not. in Japanese, lolicon directly translates to pedo. So yeah, to go on about like how Google, gura is a... There's a specific word in, in Japanese for actual pedophiles used for legal context, context. And of course, Google Translate will not have that. But again, you can look that up too. But there's a specific word used for that to actually describe that kind of attraction. And it's not Lolicon. A Lolicon and how much she supports that community and content. And then he says it's not pedo, it's not sexual, you're just crazy. Role playing a literal child here? Jesus, man, take your meds. How is he gonna sit here and say that people are crazy for calling this sexual? I had to censor the art on the right because, you know, I think this is pedophilia, but I'm gonna still show it. I think this is CP, I'm gonna retweet it anyway. I know this was going to be the worst fucking video. I, I just feel like going away. You have Gouda retweeting fan art of her character in a Japanese kindergarten uniform. And then right next to that, you have her retweeting lewd fan art of that same character. But that's not pedo stuff. Lolicon content is virtual CP. It's digitally creating images of children that are in fact no of characters not sure and if it was if it was uh, based on real actual children then it would be a problem then if it was in a sexual context be making cp that, that's how it's described really. sexual and guess what if you dare to call it out for what it is then rev is happy to announce that twitter recently has been suspending people deplatforming them for calling this out calling people pedos over drawings is a reportable thing on twitter people get their accounts suspended all the time for doing this they felt very safe because twitter used to never do anything about that but now they're actually cracking down so if people are calling you pedos over this stuff feel free to report them there's a good chance they'll get at least locked out of their account, and rightfully so. The lion, no good punks, and I know who it's coming from because I backtraced it, Jesus. and I know who's emailing and who's doing it, and you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. Right. So you one better one. write one more thing or screw with my computer again, you'll be arrested. You End of conversation from her father. 20 hours in Windows Movie Maker. The pure 100% concentrated audacity to say that this is cancel culture with Gouda being called out for doing this and then proceeding to send hate mobs after these people and saying to report them for having an opinion and saying that this is morally wrong and No, 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 no. Calling people despicable things, one of the worst things you can call someone that's, uh, that's not just an opinion comes across as predatory. Name a duo more iconic than Twitter users and being offended by everything. I said it as soon as the Hololive English premiere garnered a lot of attention that somehow the vultures and attention seekers would come in and try to cancel it for their own benefit. And this time, 
It's Brittany Venti. And not only that, he tries to intimidate anybody who has this opinion by saying, oh, Cover will sue you. They have a history of suing people for having opinions about them. Cover has made it very clear that defamation, slander, and also libel because she did everything. Both written, spoken, and video format. She did that, all of that. And I'm surprised like Cover hasn't acted even more on this because the first strike that she got for a uh, Gura video that was a copyright strike because she used uh, Gura's debut video in that one and now she has a community guideline strike on, on, on I think it's st still the same video people again say it's for child endangerment but no one actually showed me th the evidence that it's for that and not for something else who the fuck knows what that strike is for at this point? They are willing to prosecute people I, I over these things the and bring legal that. action. So I don't think claiming that their company is selling illegal material is exactly the smartest move because they might actually come down with a hammer on you. I doubt it because it's like, who are you? You're not really uh, impacting their business that much because you have no influence. But, you know, you're, you're treading on some pretty dangerous water. Like how they tried to copy strike me, despite the fact that my content was 100% fair use and I had receipts for everything that I said and what I based my opinion on, including data, statistics, and my own observations. And I don't know what kind of statistics you had to call uh, her ego bait and her fan base pedophiles. I don't know what kind of statistics you had to prove that. He will spend all his video white knighting Gurak, but if I talk about how the company attempted to censor me and how I received death threats and mass reporting, then I'm just playing the victim. Video, please like the video because this video is guaranteed going to get brigaded and they are guaranteed going to harass me about speaking out against them. And if it gets dislike bombed, it's not going to reach the YouTube recommended and people are never going to find out about this subset of people who use really dumb- uh, Again, this, this woman makes me mis misogynistic. Excuses to justify their severe mental illness. So this is the part of the video where she's addressing who this video is aimed towards, and in doing so, shields herself from criticism by calling any negative response brigading or harassment. Playing into the victim role, obviously her way of trying to deflect negative attention here. Because I made one very short tweet about this artist making inappropriate art of children that I was in fact harassing them. And then they all began to dogpile and say that they Oh no, you, you called someone a pedophile, you're, you're the victim here. Really innocent opinion. They were going to report me. So it's really funny how they claim I'm harassing for calling out pedophilia. <laughs> Meanwhile, here they are harassing me, dogpiling on me. I'm sorry, Brittany, if you made a bad post and it garners a lot of fair and negative responses, that's not dogpiling. I, I mean, it's just their opinion too, you know. Just like you can say vile things about someone, they can say vile things about you too. It, it, it's just opinion. You know? it, it's it's nothing more harmful than just opinions. That's called negative attention that you created for yourself. They're not a bunch of bloodthirsty haters. They're people who have a legitimate problem with the ridiculous accusations you throw at them and at artists with no regard. Dogpiling is just a cope for not being able to accept that your opinion is bad. But it's okay for him to spend his entire video simping for some manufactured company product. To anyone that, that's, that's just rude. Buddha is her own person. Who is a fan of Gar Gur or even slightly familiar with her, you know that Gur is constantly retweeting lolly versions of her character in terms of artwork, which includes not safe for work artwork as well. So it comes as no surprise to her real fans or her co-workers who know exactly the kind of person Gura is and the kinds of things she supports. If you visit the site, you can see the full detail of the artwork featured on the body pillow, which I must say is... So yeah, I think this is vile, but I think the shit that she did to Iron Mouse during her stream is, is, is much worse because that shit was just 100% character assassination. None of the shit that she said about Iron Mouse was, was even truthful. And 
if Iron Mouse wanted to make a deal out of it, she would, but Iron Mouse is actually a bigger person. I do think she knows what she did. I mean Iron Mouse about Venti. But I, I know Iron Mouse won't be acting about on it like that. I, Iron Mouse doesn't get involved in useless fucking internet drama. It's more important shit. It's rather cute and funny, and will run you about $80 before shipping. Do you realize in this tweet you're, you're quoting? Oh, you won't be watching the mouse slender because that, that video is fucking one hour long. I have a stream about that, so that, that's a thing you can watch on your own. Want to? It's celebrating Gargura hitting 4 million subs. This artwork is one of the reasons why. And she put a simp counter there and... I don't even know how it feels about Gouda in terms of you know, if he, if he's a fan of her or not. I have no idea, but it's just explaining what the Gouda deck he is and countering Venti's vaguely <laughs> vaguely idiotic points and some of the more idiotic too. And like again, you can find these things weird. But don't go attacking other people and implying that they're somehow predators for enjoying this artwork or anything that Gura is trying to sell here. In fact, you just look like a complete and utter idiot because you're claiming that this is pedo merch when it's literally just cute artwork. Oh, don't mind that sound. That was just Rev licking her ass clean, leaving no crumbs behind. Meanwhile, in his initial video, he complains about me defending myself by bringing up the fact that I received death threats and being mass reported. And by the way, which a lot of this was from Rev's community. I'm not allowed to speak on that, how they tried to take my livelihood away from me. How, how do you know this was his community? Do you have any evidence of that? I don't think Rev calls for other people to harass others. I think he strictly says not to do that, so... Play that victim card more if he's playing simp cards, according to you. Which led to cover trying to copy strike my channel, but Rev can go rimming her asshole and it's completely fine. And it's crazy She's to so me that this mad. video he made responding to me about Gura two years ago, the entire premise of him making that video was to say that this isn't sexual. Newsflash. You can enjoy something without sexualizing it. She thinks that if anyone says lolly characters are okay, they must be spanking it to them as well. Like my Twitter AVI is one. Never once have I ever thought of it that way. And it's weird that it seems like you think about this kind of stuff a lot when seeing completely innocent and benign images. But then now, two years later, it's Gura is a lolly. Didn't you know that? Duh. So he basically just vindicates a lot of the initial points I made. He might be even married at this point in my video. So it's like, what was all that mass reporting for? The attempts at censorship, the death threats that I received. For what? For me to say the exact point he's using to defend Gura two years later? No, he, he isn't calling Gura a, a pedophile. It's uh, vaguely calling you an idiot and you called everyone else pedophiles. That's the problem here. No. That she is, in it's fact, a lollycon and retweeting not safe for work content on her official account. But back then, it's, oh, that doesn't mean she's sexualized. That's an assumption. And then clearly it was not because he admits to this two years later. And it's not like she wasn't retweeting the not safe for work content of her character two years ago. She was. And I pointed that out as for why I believe it's sexualized content. And that the intent is to hijack into men's sexuality and little boys too, a lot of them, which I really should have emphasized on my initial video. And honestly, the number of children that were in my comments saying I'm 13 and I watch Gouda was very alarming considering what she retweets and how she markets her. Yeah, watching Gouda is not the same as being on her Twitter and looking for her likes. Her character to appeal through sexuality. Rev also says in this- And once again, if you let your kids watch something that's not for them, even though the vast majority of Gura's content is incredibly safe for work, and you know, it all falls on the parents once again, but Venti doesn't believe in personal responsibility of those parents. 
wants to pay the broad stroke picture of everything being bad. Because that's the that's the same kind of arguments people on her side use. You know, the the grifter chat calf's uh weird alt-right. I, I sound like a fucking JW saying that, but it is it is that weird grifter part of of the alt right that tries to pretend they have values and principles. They they do not. They are usually guilty of of more than what they accuse people of. That's that's how it usually is. I don't even want to go into details on some of the people from that community, but it's just full of actual degenerates, not people just liking fucking. Sexy pictures of anime girls. Video that he just sees the character as cute and he never thought of it that way. If that's really the case. Th this is this is a, a, cute, a cute fucking thing that she tries to quote. Take a look at that. Scholars bank, scholarly works, student works, undergraduate works, undergraduate re research. And, and, and she's quoting that like the, this is some kind of important paper. Hypersexualization of minors is a continuous problem pre prevalent in Japan. This is basically the same, the paper on the same level of academic research that Venti does on her own. And this is supposed to be a source, some fucking students, uh, undergraduate fucking paper that just makes assumptions the same way that she does. Fucking fantastic. Then my question is, why has Rev not been that outspoken in these videos on sexualizing these prepubescent looking characters? Especially when they act like children and sound like children. And I know he says that the argument isn't about, oh, they're 9,000 years old and that's not how anyone justifies it. It's actually through body type. But the thing is, every time when I've watched anime and a lolly is added in where their age is very high, like 9,000 years old or whatever, it's always so that that character can be sexualized in the anime. No, not really. Like, I can even give you a recent example. Uh, ReZero, there's this lolly baba character there. I forgot her name. Apologies for that. The one that has clones of herself. She's a lolly baba and she's completely safe for work. I don't recall anything in that show that sexualizes her at all. So, you know, that's strong. There's, there's plenty of lolly baba characters that are like 9,000 something years old that aren't sexualized at fucking all. So I think that that is usually the intent when they're aging up the character. Uh, no, 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 not, not Biako. And Biako isn't sexualized either way, too. Character, and that this argument. But Biako is, is also a good example of a character like that. Doesn't. ReZero has very little lolly fan service. Now, when I think about that. Come out of nowhere. As someone who grew up with anime, who holds it very near and dear to their heart. And to the extent where not only I base a lot of my aesthetics off of it, but also the fact that I still am trying to learn Japanese, I have a Japanese tutor, I certainly would hate to have to reflect back on things that I enjoyed in my childhood, knowing that some of it was not so innocent and maybe morally questionable. But I think we all need to take the time to reflect on how this is affecting children watching growing up now, especially when the hypersexualization is real, as well as porn addiction and how it literally gives you brain damage. And it's really not fair when I give several examples of data and evidence to just be called a clout chaser or grifter, as Rev has done to me several times to discredit my arguments. Because I'm sure the people who have watched live arguments. streams or anime in general don't appreciate being grouped up and generalized as predators by someone looking for clicks. Let me tell you guys, this is not the content you make if you want to make money on YouTube. This video is guaranteed going to get demonetized. Oh, it won't. Like, if you make it properly, not like you did, it, it wouldn't get demonetized, but, but, but you're a dumb, a, a dumb dummy, a, a dumb dumb. If you made the video properly, you wouldn't be demonetized. And I can bet you as this video that she made it isn't demonetized either. Which is why I appreciate any support if you guys like this video. I'm on Patreon and Locals. If you wish to support my channel, I am community funded. But nonetheless, this video is not only going to get demonetized, but it really... No, it... it I, I think there's a way to check that too. Hold on. Uh, there's, there's checkers for shit like that. 
So, before the video continues, I, I want to check something. I'm quite sure there there's a way to check if something is demonetized, even if you don't have an access to the channel. Give me a moment. You can take a fucking break for Britain Eventy for a second. At least the video is about to end, so... Must be some. I think I'll look for a script later. Uh, we're wasting time now. Let, let's end this video. We still have one more to go through. Risks age restriction as well because of the nature of the topic. I am making this video in hopes that it will open the discussion about the problem there is with Lolicon being normalized and how it links to hypersexualization and literal brain damage from porn addiction, especially in children. And how Lolicon Lolicon isn't for children, you, you dumb broad. Lolicon has led to children themselves being sexualized as well. Is it really logically consistent and morally okay for us to ignore the role that Lolicon plays in this just because there were certain elements of this in the anime we watched growing up? It is uncomfortable, but it does need to be discussed because otherwise this problem is going to continue to fester and it is festering at an astronomical decades of this kind of content and it didn't normalize shit normalized shit rather means it didn't there's research done on that it has no correlation to any kind of increase in any crime or any kind of additional sexual addiction that you might be thinking of things that have been researched you omitted because one, th these videos aren't made. I don't think she makes these videos in, in order to, you know, change something, uh, spurn some kind of discussion. This is just the next best thing that thing that she thinks can get her attention uh, and money through it. She is a grifter. Don't be mistaken by by anything else. This isn't a person with principles. Great. So once again, please like the video because. It probably will be dislike bombed and share the video if you found it informative and helpful. In the time that it took to make this video and editing it, I could have done like five live streams and made so much more money and clout. So I really am just trying to do this to spread awareness. I really doubt that YouTube will monetize this video. So, so rest assured, this video is not made because I am a clout goblin. I already had to deal with one of those recently and I'm still locked out of Twitter because of it. Anyway, check me out on my social medias. I'm still locked out on Twitter in case you were wondering, but you can find me on YouTube. I make YouTube community posts a lot. That's like my version of Twitter now. And I'm on Instagram as well as TikTok. Thank you in advance for the support, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, go fuck yourself. I'll be right back, and then we have the Ween video to go through. I, I need to actually put my head under the fucking sink, because my fucking head is starting to hurt. Be right back. I'll, I'll give you some music to listen to.
All right, back. L let's get through the last video. I got into like one minute of that last video by Win, and then I got annoyed. It's like uh, that that last one. I think it's just a full anti lolicon video, a and the sources that he links in the description is just fucking silly. I, I don't want to give him any clicks, but he links to a fucking Tumblr where uh, where people are giving confessions that they were uh, sexually abused by by lolicons. But by, by lolicons, they mean just sex fucking predators uh, and actual pedophiles. But you know, linking to a fucking Tumblr as a source is always fucking fantastic. Ah. Uh. Discount Turkey Tom. Ween is a is a YouTuber that did two videos on Lollicons. This is the second one we're watching. It's called um, Lolly. No, no, no. Lolly Exposed: The Ultimate Ultimate Lollicon Analysis. Ultimate. He got suspended for twi uh, from Twitter for calling people pedophiles. I, I think. Uh, but before that, he um, he decided to flex, like literally flex, like he posted himself flexing his muscles, uh, and then t told others, "Oh, I, I bet you guys look like like shit." I I'm just reiterating; that's not quote for quote. Uh, and people just ratioed him, showing their pictures to him, looking so much better than the guy that, and that's his claim to fame. Oh yeah, let's get through this. 27 minutes of this shit. I think I'll, I'm gonna speed it up just uh, for the sake. Uh, 20%, 30%, 30%. Let, let's see how that dude sounds at 30% uh, increase. I normally don't do this, but I would like to introduce this video with a very heavy content warning, considering this may reach a... Is this too fast because he sounds like a chipmunk? ...broader audience, and not just for the sake of entertainment or making fun of lollicons, so to say. There will be discussions of CSA, SA, pedophilia, lollicon, and shotokan. If any of these subjects disgust you to the point where you cannot watch, I would advise clicking off the video now. With that out of the way, let's start. So, I've made the videos, I've pissed off a lot of degenerates, and they're demanding answers. I didn't really care to explain my stance before or try to dissect the the arguments presented by these individuals because just the fact that you needed an authority figure saying that something is technically not illegal or studies to justify your attraction to childlike features is enough to completely disregard your opinion. It is within my belief that any media that is sexualizing minors or people that are attracted to childlike features have no reason to be justified. These people need help and there is no reason to enable them. This is my opinion, a lot of people share this opinion, but many technicalities cause it to be just that an opinion. Those videos were never supposed to be anything more than that, and despite saying as such, they acted as though it was supposed to be an analytical hit piece on anime fans for spreading illegal material, quote-unquote. It's not illegal, that's, that's the thing that he actually got fucking wrong in his fucking video. And the sources that he links to this video that we're watching right now also links to the fucking Protect Act, so that, that's how... That's how ultimate his lolicon analysis is. If you're curious, it wasn't, and I've tried to make that very clear. Fact of the matter is that lolly is technically legal as it was deemed unconstitutional to restrict artistic free- uh, But he's still linked to it, as if it's some sort of fucking own. This fucking video. Freedom. My opinion is that many, not all, lolicons are pedophiles. My goal with this video is to give you an explanation for this opinion and hopefully sway yours over to this side. Even if you don't agree that it's pedophilic in nature, I do want to present the argument that this form of media should not exist or at very least has no reason to outside of complete degeneracy. This is a community built on harassment, projection, and hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're the ones calling people pedophiles. That's, th that, that's their community built on fucking harassment, not defending them. Come on, dude. He at least stop pretending you're coming this discussion with uh, level-headed uh, fucking argument. See, for the sake of defending material so vile that it is illegal in many developed countries and only isn't explicitly considered child porn in the United States because of a loophole. I'm making this- Stop the fucking loophole. The, the loophole is cartoons don't fucking produce 
victims. I, I don't know how the fuck is that the loophole. Video in such a format because there have been several requests by non lollicons to provide an analysis outside of reactionary or opinionated content. I respect the opinions of those that don't sexualize minors, so I will oblige. Going forward, I need to clarify some things and make a few disclaimers to set up proper context for this discussion. The term pedophile refers to those who are sexually attracted to children or childlike features. I'm not calling these people child predators, I'm not calling them sex offenders, or implying that they are doing anything illegal. Unfortunately, it isn't illegal to be a pedophile, it's only illegal to act on those urges. So, by his argument, if you're attracted to an adult, if you're fucking attracted to an adult with a childlike feature, you're a pedophile too. The specific group of lollicons that I'm talking about, and the largest apparent group of them, is the ones that view and distribute sexually explicit depictions of children ages 12 and under and proudly announce their love for the material. I'm not talking about quote-unquote petite women, as the bodily features of many of these depictions more closely resemble that of a prepubescent child than a short woman and not even by a margin. The material depicts children that are barely old enough to walk, performing unknowing sexual- Fucking correct. Again, he completely misses the point that this is a body type and age is completely irrelevant. Act. More often than not, rape is also a part of these depictions, frequently showing the children in obvious distress. Other features to note would be more stubby limbs, amongst other features only apparent in those going through early- There's even- There's ranges of fucking lolly body types. It's not just fucking one as he tries to describe it. There's so much fucking shit, but yeah, ultimate my fucking ass. ...developmental stages. Lack of an hourglass shape and figure, facial expression. That's that's not even fucking true. There's plenty of lollies with fucking great hourglass figure. Expressions that convey a lack of understanding and innocence. Those are among also not true because again, it's not a fucking type of uh, actor personality type. It's a body type, purely. Among a few key features that apart. Uh, Lunaris, thanks for the five. The definition of pedophile sounds like something Mr. Girl says. Let's not get into fucking bread tube. Jesus fucking Christ, but, but thanks for the super chat. From the stylized faces, make this art only comparable to minors. Keep in mind that stylization is meant to give emphasis to the childlike features. I also don't believe that these people are traditional- Again, childlike, not of children. Actual children pedophiles. That being someone who has a natural attraction to children. I believe lollicons are porn addicts who went down a rabbit hole, looking for the next best thing to get off to until they reach the very, very bottom of the barrel in terms of degeneracy. I think that these people can change back to the way that they were, maybe through therapy or whatever, but they're- Oh, you mean like conversion therapy? Like, even the drugs? Or, yeah, a, a little zap in the brain? Yeah, come on, fucking dude. Like, let's, let's, uh, let's make this argument. Like, the way I got into Lolicon is because I got fed up with actual real of age fucking performance real porn started being so fucking boring and nowadays when i see anything 3d fucking pd retweeted on fucking twitter i just almost wretch almost physically wretched that shit i, I don't ever want to go back to after that but people like this think that lolicon is a gateway and not an fucking and buffer to uh, sexual fucking attraction to, to cartoons. And they think this is attraction to an actual minor. You know, childlike features and child features of a real human being and not a specific attraction to a type of fiction. A type of fiction doesn't look remotely like any fucking child in real they're choosing to be a pedophile because they essentially don't want to go through a porn detox. Speaking directly to those of you that are lollicons, if you do not want to be called a pedophile, then you have to change. Not us. You may find a Who is us? Fucking turkey tom adjacent YouTube commentators? Done to point out these things, as most of you have the mental capacity to infer context, but I have to add these, otherwise everything presented will be discredited on a miswording or communication error, because obviously that's more important than subject matter and morals involved. I'm going to start by presenting my argument, and then I will play devil's advocate at every possible opportunity using arguments made by this group, followed up by my own counter-argument. Let's start as such. Lollicons are pedophiles. The first argument that you might hear is that lolly are petite women and not comparable to children, therefore it is not comparable to pedophilia. I've already distinguished the specific group of lolly that I'm presenting in my argument, Argument, that being material that looks explicitly like children. I'm going. Yeah, but you didn't make the distinction that doesn't look like any kind of child would ever look in real life. You didn't make that distinction at all. That's that's why your argument is inherently flawed, and, and you're just patting yourself on the back. Uh, 
by pretending this is a sound argument. I'm going to present to you a silhouette of a short adult woman. Now here's one of a child. Even under the circumstances- And you're showing real fucking people once more. Real silhouettes of what's supposed to be a, a depiction of a real human. ...stance where you argued that the short woman would have less body fat, smaller proportion in the tits and ass, they are far from comparable. I acknowledge once again that there is a portion of Lolly that is petite women that you could argue that they're over age, and even though this category is also degenerative, and I personally think that they all look like young teenagers, I won't call the people that get off to this category pedophiles. They'd probably follow up calling this comparison hyperbolic, which I've noticed, downplaying the nature of this material in the public eye is common. However, if you don't believe me, go to Twitter and see for yourself. Oh, so now if it looks just a bit older, it's not pedophilic anymore. The age suddenly doesn't matter anymore. Like, brother, do you understand why pedophilia is bad? Do you understand why abusing minors in a sexual way is bad? One, they cannot consent. They do not understand what's being expected of them when they engage in sexual acts. Two, if the, if the minor is is very young they're gonna get physically hurt by the by the act there's two folds to this this is why pedophilia is bad it, it's not because attraction to fucking drawings bad like these fuckers never go to the core issue of this Self. This is not an exaggeration on the comparison of features. It's also important to point out that many members of this community straight up say that their attraction is specifically to these younger ages and don't even try to deny the obvious depiction of a younger age. They would then follow up with a statement somewhere along the lines of, it looks nothing like a child. Obviously, by looking at the face, you can see that no child looks like that in real life, usually on the basis of a slightly larger head and bug eyes. I would like to point out that larger heads and eyes are features of children typically, and I would like- I, I'd like you to show me a, a child that looks like an anime character. Go on. ...to argue that the stylization is in place to put emphasis on these features. This not only does not distinguish them from real children, it puts more focus on the fact that it is trying to depict a small child as opposed to a petite woman. Yes, these features are apparent across all of anime, but is undeniably exacerbated on Lollicon. I've linked below a tutorial that shows how to represent age in anime, in which the segment on young girls specifically shows the features to make the drawing appear more childlike, all of which are present in Lolly. Another one I've linked shows the yeah. adjustments of proportion and to show age. Character. Almost all of Lolly yeah. falls into these three categories. This is explicitly described as children's proportions. This is also yeah, children's proportions for anime characters, and they don't have to be children because this is a fictional fucking world where these one million old dragons can exist too. Specifically for anime characters. Reinforced by the fact that many members of the community will straight up tell you that these characters are underage and that they're attracted to that fact, once again. Now that we've established that these drawings are childlike, and that's the basis of the attraction to these characters, it is safe to restate my argument that lollicons are pedophiles. However, we aren't even halfway through the arguments yet. Once you manage to illustrate the fact that this media is pedophilic, they'll probably point out that it is not real and no children were harmed, so it is okay. My issue with the existence of this material is that it allows people to pursue and justify their attraction to minors. I don't believe- No, to cartoon characters, not to fucking minors. A minor is an identifiable human that's underage. If that lolly hurts children directly, I believe it hurts the consumer. Porn consumption has been shown to increase both- This fucking porn consumption argument, and they never link it properly to lollicon. They always link it just, oh, porn addiction bad, any porn addiction bad. I, I, I hate these fucking arguments. Like, every single one of these fuckers tries to make that argument as if it adds anything to the discussion, like, decades of research into studies of porn show that it, it really doesn't go the way they think it does. Like, individual actions are important here. Individual responsibility, it's... You aren't getting fucking groomed into harming yourself and harming others by consuming pornography. Everyone has their own fucking mind and is responsible for their own actions. This is this is like the fucking video games cause violence scare all over again, this time just with fucking porn. Non-sexual and sexual aggression, study linked below, and to say that these people are porn addicts would be an understatement as almost every aspect of their online presence can be correlated to porn, usually lolly porn. I think it's apparent nowadays how detrimental porn addiction can be for most people and it shouldn't be too hard for you to find videos on why that is on YouTube, so I'm not gonna really- The, the ultimate analysis where the dude doesn't even know how to properly construct an argument, getting fucking- uh, let's continue before I get to it.
bother linking anything. Since Lolly is a depiction of children and most consumers acknowledge that they won't find anyone with their body type to date legally, it most likely has various unknown impacts on their life. I would speculate that their perception of people, children specifically, relationships, and so on, would be impacted. The only way to gratify themselves sexually in a real life scenario would be through age play, childlike sex dolls. Oh, I, I don't think lo lolicons are into the real shit. A again, attraction to fiction, they never consider that way of thinking that this is specifically an attraction to fiction and not something relating to the real world at all. They never make that argument, even though that's the fastest argument you could make in order you know, to justify anything. Normally, just saying, you know, it's, it's fictional, bro, would be, not, would be enough. And, and that was enough like a decade ago or so. But these fucking Zoomers now grew up on fucking Tumblr. And they actually got groomed into this way of fucking thinking. So it is what it is. Or committing an offense against a minor. While I believe that age play is degenerative, it is between consenting adults. This, it's degenerate. It's degenerate. Like, everything's fucking degenerate. Do that. How the fuck do these Zoomers even exist? I do not believe any of them have any sort of fucking principle. I bet they fucking jack it on a daily fucking basis. I, I do not believe these fucking Zoomers, like, whatsoever, a a about them being so fucking pure and not, not fucking touching themselves whenever they have the fucking occasion. However, the chance that they'll find a partner who will participate in that is low, meaning the chances for the other options are higher. Not high, mind you. Most of them will likely just jerk off in their room for all of eternity, but we can't just brush past the fact that these people might eventually seek out other options if left to degenerate even more. Now, I said in previous videos that sources said exposure to lolly increases your chance of offending because I heard it word of mouth, and I gotta say it, I couldn't find that study. I know- Oh, you were wrong about- about shit? about something your Zoomer friends told you? Well, I'm so fucking surprised. That the lollicons are pumping the air right now and are gonna run off with their imaginary W. But for the rest of you guys, I'd like to just point out the lack of research on this topic in general, and the research that- Oh no, there's plenty of fucking research, you just didn't look for it. I can link you to it, but oh sorry, you're banned on Twitter from people pedophiles. Fuck off. I could find was surrounding Japan and was on CSA victims using it to cope with trauma. I must point out that we do have evidence that says porn can make you more sexually aggressive and that people who have fetishes and whatnot are far more likely to pursue those sexual actions in real life, at least stated by this medical professional that I happened to find in a thread while looking for these sources. He googled that shit and put it in his video discussion. And the way he linked it, uh, just links it to a page where you can ask a professional a question. The answer is not even linked properly, so, you know, ultimate lolicon analysis video with properly sourced links to uh, ask random people on, on the fucking internet uh, questions and they can give you an answer pretending that they're either a professional or, you know, just link to Tumblr because that's the proper source for uh, your intellectual discussion. But even if we don't have the sources to give us an explicit answer, we do have the ability to infer from these two facts that at very least, Lolly can only cause harm, even if it is only to the consumer. What do you mean only? And what about anything else, like enjoyment of, of fiction? It, so it, it's harmful and nothing else? Do you think these people just get harmed by it no matter what happens? Is that the argument here? This at very least raises a major red flag, and as the saying goes, hurt people, hurt people. Okay, but it's not illegal. True, it's not illegal, but neither is pedophilia. Pedophilia is only illegal when acted upon, but we don't really like pedophiles regardless. Pedophiles can legally use their imagination to get off to their fantasy, but do we think that's okay? Most would say no, especially when you consider that there's- Oh, so thought crimes are bad too now. Treatment, such as medication that kills your libido, and- Non-offending pedophiles at least stop themselves. No, but, but you'd uh, kill them too. It, it's fourth crime at this point. That you can get this treatment without breaking the law. They like to say that their critics can't tell fantasy from reality, but we already treat pedophiles fantasies to keep them from making it a reality, if that tells you anything. Also, we know from a source listed down below that Lollicon is used by the majority of self-identifying pedophiles, which I believe is cre- That's, that's not true at all. That, that shit is bogus, and that source completely disproves what he's saying and go check this shit out too. It's completely not fucking true. We did an argument that you should just let the pedophiles use this material to cope so then they don't hurt kids. But we already have treatment available that doesn't require- In fact, most actual pedophiles aren't even attracted to any kind of drawings. They get off on actual real children. 
or any sexualization of minors, depiction or not. We don't need it as a solution because we already have solutions. Not to mention, there isn't a 0% chance of Lolly reaching somebody who has never thought about it, but is now attracted to it. The next argument that might be presented might sound like, but if they don't have anything to satisfy themselves with, they might just take it out on children and they don't want to get help because of the stigma surrounding pedophiles. Those who are going to commit offenses are just bad people. They'll probably use the social stigma argument after they get caught. But fact of the matter is that anybody that cares about children is not going to sexually assault them because they are aware of the fact that they can get help discreetly and will never have to deal with the social stigma. If they are concerned about the stigma, they'll get help. No one is going to be so sexually frustrated that they unwillingly take it out on a child. If they do, it was premeditated and they acknowledged what they were doing. Unrelated, but it kind of sounds like blackmail. It's like, oh yeah, if you take away our lolly, we're going to rape your kids. Not my fault though. You were the one that pushed me over the edge. That's a retarded fucking argument because most of these uh, actual pedophiles that are also attracted to lolicon were pedophiles to begin with. So saying that they're just going to offend if you take a lolicon away is just completely fucking false. Oh my god. I did some more research, and in fact, this is a legal gray area because under federal law in section 1466A, title 18, Lolly is classified as child porn as it explicitly states that cartoons are included in that category. However, it is very easy to dodge prosecution because of the segment where it specifies that if it possesses artistic value, it's fine. This is an obscenity fucking law, and part of it that he actually uh, quotes there is also part of the Protect Act. You know, that thing that's not legally binding. No matter if it does or not, this is a very easy argument for a lawyer to make because artistic value is so subjective. Even though we all know that the sole existence of Lolly is fat material for these degenerates. It is classified as child porn. Not even remotely close. A lot of this is you know, titillation material. It is spank material. But it is Lolly stuff that has uh, more value than that. There's actual Lollicon mangas. The Shodekon mangas that are a lot more than this guy is saying. If you follow the law and take into consideration common sense. But the loophole is there, so Lollicons like to say that it is legal. They have a point in the sense that they will probably not be prosecuted under technicalities in their favor, but no, it is illegal. They will tell you that it is not CP because it is not illegal, which is false. It is, it is still CP, but you can legally get away with obtaining it and distributing it under the guise of artistic purposes. It's completely legal and it doesn't have to have artistic merit. You're talking about obscenities here. It's completely legal in the States. So go on with your ultimate Lolicon analysis. You're just completely wrong about that. So whether or not it can be gotten away with, it is still child porn. More so, almost always, the intent of the author or artist of this material is to fetishize the characters, making it inherently illegal. The only catch is that you can lie about your intent, thus changing the legality. Lolly is also explicitly illegal in a few states, most falling into that gray area, with the only state where it's explicitly legal being California. Go figure. In co fucking back. I went to Odacon and purchased so, some Lolicon mangas easily, and, and I don't think Odacon is in, in fucking California. <laughs> so, you know, dude doesn't know shit, doesn't understand shit, and doesn't even properly check his sources. He's still talking about obscenities. He's not talking about Lolicon specifically. He's talking about obscenity laws in the United yeah. The reason why I'm not reporting it to the police is that I can do more on the internet to spread awareness about this vile community. I can do more on the internet than report actual predators. You heard it from the straight from the guy's mouth. I can do more on the internet than report act or report people I think are child predators. I can do more on the internet. Motherfucker. ...than I'd be able to in real life. Also, as the court of law might not care about your consumption of this material because of its quick dis- I can do more. ...missile. Your place of employment internet. might. I know that- Making a video playing, uh, fucking Doom badly. Alright. This, ...and I know that's why you refuse to show your face online. It's also why I made this post that successfully managed to bait a handful of people into showing their face. Next argument. You're y yeah, he baited them so much he fucking got banned on Twitter for calling them pedophiles too. Watering down the word pedophile. I realize that we use the word pedophile to describe child predators or people who commit crimes against children, but the definition is only about attraction. I would argue that this is the perfect context to use this term after reviewing the material that these individuals are so Real obsessed children. with. I would even say that we gas the term up too much as the initial response to it is people visualizing an offender. We have words like sex offender, child predator, and molester to describe these people, but we choose to use pedophile because they're also pedophiles and it's much easier to say. I don't think that this is a hyperbolic context to use this term in. Maybe if you called all anime fans pedophiles. It is a huge fucking problem because whenever fucking Twitter freaks make pedophile accusations and some of these pedophile accusations actually turn out to be true, 
you never fucking know if it's actual about actual miners being abused or if it's about drawings again. In ninety percent of contexts, it's gonna be about fucking drawings. And, and then you know, you look at the thread. Oh, this guy has been um, outed for being a, a predator, a pedophile. Then you can oh, dismiss dismiss it because oh, I think it's gonna be about drawings again. But lo and behold, it turns out it's actually real this time around. So it is a problem, watering that shit down. It lets actual predators away, get the fuck away with their actions. This shit is infuriating. Yes, but I made it very clear as to what material I would consider to be pedophilic. If you do not want to be associated with the term, stop looking at pedophilic material. It's honestly as simple as that. Carded fucking zoomer of 21 years old or something. Fucking Christ. What they will bring up next is the argument that because you're spending time being repulsed by hand-drawn child porn, that you don't actually care about child victims, because if you- You don't because you don't want to report- Report what you consider child abusers to the police. You'd rather make videos on the internet for money. You don't care. If you did, you'd focus on that instead. I can hate pedophiles, child predators, and be sympathetic towards victims at the same time. I don't have the knowledge to expose pedophiles. I tried that once with somebody, but I can never get the guy's information, and all of my efforts were futile. I don't have money to donate to victims, and I don't have time to do non-profit work. At the end of the day, I'll try to do something good, but if I make no money- yeah, Calling the police is so fucking difficult, isn't it? ...money from it, I can't do anything. I can make money from this, and spread awareness to potential- Do you know what you do when you see, uh minors fucking uh, sexualizing themselves or being uh, objectivized by, by some actual pedophile on Twitter, you can report that easily within minutes, but no, uh, you'd rather make fucking internet videos. Y you can't do, do any right, anything, right? It's too difficult to press that fucking report button on, on Twitter. At least Twitter takes fucking child sexual expo exploitation seriously, considering how fast people I reported got banned for that kind of shit. But no, make, make your fucking video, dude. But get your fucking money. Really ...harmful degenerative things. It's about what's within my power to do at the moment, and not what I want to do to help. I'm going to make videos regard- You, you have no power to do anything right now. You, you poor fucking deer with no fucking skills. Your ultimate lolicon analysis. Regardless, whether it helps people or not isn't my main concern. This isn't me trying to help children, as I've already acknowledged that Lolly doesn't directly harm them. This is me trying to get the degenerates who consume it to get help or have somebody have them get help because the media is harming them. These lollycons are right for not wanting to be called pedophiles. But the way to not be called a pedophile isn't to redefine the term, it's to stop consuming pedophilic material. I believe... Uh, if only these... Pseudo, pseudo intellectual zoomers actually try to understand it from the position of actual lolicons, then this whole discussion wouldn't even be taking place. But the guy is constantly trying to recontextualize the arguments that he thinks lolicons are making against him in order to, for him to sound right. And all of the shit that he's saying is just completely wrong. Because not only does he just make the wrong ag arguments about it, he just completely misinterprets arguments that people make about it, and, and the opinions that he stated. I believe the existence of Lolly is watering down the term pedophile because it's very slowly normalizing pedophilic material. Pedophilic material, media, and people should not be ignored, even if it's not comparable to the worst to wear the label. Just because it exists in a lesser degree does not mean that we should adjust the stigma for those people. Hopefully, the jarring nature of the word will help people acknowledge the reality. Yeah, but wh why don't you do the same thing about, you know, fictional violence then shouldn't it be it be comparable like you know killing these you know killing children in media harming children in media shouldn't that also be a concern then i ask again why is it always the sexualization that's the problem because it, it's going to lead to lead to you know sex sexual holy shit i can't make proper words now it's going to lead to child sex abuse and violence against fictional minors won't lead to uh, people wanting to kill real-life minors. Not equivalent. Uh, different parts of brain works work for these kinds of things. I know people make that argument too. Oh, when you sexualize something, different part of your brain produces dopamine, not, not, not the one that's re responsible for you enjoying fictional violence. It's, it's all different. Um, 
Dumb shit. ...reality of the media that they consume and either stay away from it or seek professional help. Furthermore, my previous point on the definitions is further proven through the paper, Child Molesters, a Behavioral Analysis on pages 35 through 37, where the author clearly defines what a pedophile is and also compares it to child molesters in a separate definition. You can find the link down below. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with fictional content. Once again, proving your own fucking video once more. Oh. The, it's not real and doesn't represent anything in real life argument, falls flat on its face when you realize that they're constantly trying to tell you that these images depict previously mentioned petite women, and will go so far as to say that you're demeaning, shaming, or otherwise dehumanizing real-life short women. Now that they've inadvertently acknowledged that this is an attraction that plays into real life, we can now compare the previous analysis of exclusively childlike features and say that no, they're using your own argument because you are comparing this to attraction to real people. Most of them are attracting to fiction. They're just using your own arguments against you. Because at this point, it goes into body shaming territory when you try to use the same arguments that you do. Even if they aren't looking for children in real life, they're looking for women with exclusively childlike features, the pre-developmental kind which are only found in adults with genetic defects, and are so rare that at best, this is an- Oh, I don't think you've been to an Asian fucking country, my dude. Yeah, these- all of these fucking Asians defective, according to this guy. Go to any Asian country, dude. Go to any state that has a lot of Asians in it, in the United States. You, you'll find something very impressive there. But I, I, doesn't the guy even leave home? Is he an American citizen? Who the fuck knows? Age kink. Also, the concept that you're shaming somebody for having a body type is absolutely true. Especially since this is the body type. I think most people would shame your preference of body type if it looked like a child. Next is that the actual age of the character is not what it looks like. As displayed here, a character that I showed as an example in a previous video was not 5 as I originally thought, but 12. I would like this time to say that I still think that the character looks 5 years old, and that 12 is still far below the age of consent. I would like- Ca Characters cannot fucking consent, they don't fucking exist. No one has to consent here because- there's no ability for a cartoon to comment. To follow up that this person also posted rape porn of this 12-year-old character shortly after. Uh, cr Based. Credit to Mason on Discord for these screenshots. Now let's hit the, oh yeah, look over here arguments. You're the only one that thinks it looks like a child. You're the creep here. I'm not sure if this is denial or just a deflection tactic to just avoid the obvious problem here, but the only people who don't think that it looks like a child or say that they don't think that it looks like a child are the ones consuming the material. I think I've covered the topic of why it looks like a child enough. We should instead just acknowledge that this is a failsafe for them to avoid any repercussions. Usually followed up with the, it's just a fantasy, but if it isn't, it's just petite woman. With the sources I've linked combined with common sense, most of you will be able to tell right away that the only thing this material translates into the real world is children usually aged 5 to 12. It's not hard to tell the differences, but this group will try its best to gaslight you into thinking otherwise. When I unfortunately happen upon this material, I recognize it as childlike because of pattern recognition, and I'm filled with disgust. The acknowledgement of something- The pattern recognition that you sh should have acquired at the age of fucking five that tells you what's real and what's not. Again, children as young as five can tell what's real and what's fucking not. But you can't make that distinction. Y you see a pattern, but you don't make a distinction that one's real, one isn't. So, w which one is the crazy one here? The people, quote unquote, trying to gaslight you or your fucking stupid ass? existent does not equate to me condoning it, liking it, or being sexually attracted to it. If that were the case, everyone would be trying to fuck everything. But we don't. Most of us have mental barriers when it comes to concepts such as that. Most of us. I'm almost certain that all of these people acknowledge that this is pedophilic in nature and just hide behind these statements for safety. This ties in perfectly with a similar argument that they make, which involves projection. They say things like, the people who are most verbally opposed to us usually have the most skeletons in their closet. They because they do, there's so many of these fuckers that get outed to some kind of pedophile predator. Tens of people, if not hundreds of people. There's even a fucking list on, on, on the people that do this shit. Holy fuck. ...have this narrative that anyone who criticizes them is a quote-unquote real pedophile, which I wholeheartedly believe to be a silencing tactic as those- It's not because there's even evidence of it. ...who are critical of pedophilia are going to be the ones who would want to avoid ever hearing that as an accusation at any cost. I've seen- Dude lacks evidence, but apparently doesn't like evidence that, uh, you know, counters his arguments. ...countless comments from people on Twitter saying how it's only a matter of time before I get outed as a pedophile. In most cases, people who interact with this community quickly become exhausted. Start the fucking clock. ...busted with the mental gymnastics that these degenerates run you through, and give up on trying to argue with the same handful of points thrown at them over and over and over on loop. Their tactics oftentimes work, but I'm wholeheartedly confident in the fact that I have nothing to hide. 
Also, is this fucking Borderlands? It's Borderlands. Fuck this dude. Maybe a few embarrassing things, but nothing on this level. Anyone that knows me knows how critical I've always been on this topic and knows that I'm critical even of pedophilic jokes that are simply edgy. There are even a lot of old Eminem songs that I can't even listen to because of the subject matter and graphic detail. I he can't listen to Eminem songs because it hurts his fragile fucking sensibilities. Holy fuck, dude. Like, how do you exist within society? I don't care about a lot of topics that I cover, and I'll say that because I make videos to make videos, not to talk about drama. But, I absolutely, vehemently despise anything pedophilic to the point where I am critical of a good portion of pornographic material in general, just because of the sexualization of things like barely legal and incest dynamic. Like, I fucking believe he can listen to Eminem songs because it hurts his fucking feelings. Come on, dude. Like, I fucking believe that. Even though my own limits and preferences exist, I don't hold it against most people who consume the vast majority of porn, but I draw a very clear line when it comes to anything explicitly pedophilic. To deny that Lolly is pedophilic in nature is to deny that the sky is blue, and I'm not gonna say nothing when these degenerates are running around free, getting their kicks out of the fact that I can't legally do anything substantial about it. I want to spread awareness to decrease the acceptance of degenerative pedophilic material, and I know I can, even if it's just to a couple thousand people. Also, I'm just pointing out that this material is pedophilic. I'm trying to demonize the consumption of the material, not any specific individual. I Give a no, calling them pedophiles is not demonizing them. No, dude. Seriously. Clear door out. Stop consuming this material. You won't be considered a pedophile. These people are the ones telling me that I, as an individual, am creepy, that I am hiding something, that I am a pedophile based solely on my criticism of them. If anybody is projecting, it is you guys. My accusations are not baseless. Yours are. They might point out after this that I have shown. Oh, we have plenty. We, I, I, this is the one time I'm gonna say we because I speak as a lolicon for lolicons that have evidence that these motherfuckers constantly project and there's evidence of that aplenty and can be shown at any specific point in time so the, the projection is purely on on your point dude own, quote unquote, what I consider to be CP Basis. in my videos and thumbnails. That being safe for work images of Lolly to give context to the audience. Someone specifically said, What the hell is a safe for work version of child porn? Which, in and of itself, is such a brain dead statement that I shouldn't even have to respond, but for the sake of the video, I will elaborate. Take the phrase, child porn, and remove the adjacent word, porn, from it. What do you get? Child. That's right. Pictures of children with their clothes on and not in sexual scenarios is not child porn. Get it? Good. Children have a reason to exist in media, and I'm completely fine with them existing in media. What I have an issue with is when they get sexually assaulted and explicitly raped for the sole purpose of one's sexual gratification or existing in any context solely for the sake of one's sexual gratification. This is not rocket science. I would also like to share with you something that Brother Near 2.0 pointed out to me, that in a specific anime named Berserk, there is depictions of sexual exploitation of children, but it's portrayed as a terrible event. So, no, dude, this Shirke showing her ass and wanting to hug uh, guts while naked. You're uh, you're not consuming this material, right? You're not a real berserk fan. The intent of the author is extremely important, as many people believe that terrible things should exist in media, but should stay just that, terrible. Unfortunately, the intent of all not safe for work lolly artists is fetishization and sexual gratification. There is no reason to fetishize these vile acts. Also, you're not gonna fucking tell me that Shirk has. Bare fucking ass is some kind of commentary on how terrible that is. So for the record, I've not saved any of this explicit material. I've screenshotted tweets containing it, but it was heavily censored. I, I didn't save it. I only screenshotted it so it got saved to my hard drive. I, 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 didn't, uh, I didn't save it. Or cropped off with the snipping tool before it was even saved. I, I, only, I only cropped the child porn officer. It, it's fine. And I fully intend to remove even the censored versions from my hard drive as soon as they serve their purpose. I, I only I only put child porn on my hard drive to make a point officer uh, to to only talk about it in my YouTube video purpose as context. You're fine with violence in video games, so you should be fine with Lolly. Basically, stating that video games would cause people to murder if Lolly caused people to offend. On paper, this is their best argument until you understand the chemical process behind the acts of sexual. There it is. There's the chemical processes that are different for one and the other. Sexual gratification and murder. Sexual arousal releases a cocktail of addictive chemicals such as dopamine, endorphins, and oxytocin. This is the same for self-pleasure and actual physical intimacy. Video games, which allow you to kill, release dopamine. Killing in real life, however, just dumps a shit ton of adrenaline on most people, and most people recognize that killing in real life will not give you the same satisfactory response uh, that you, you get from Call of Duty. Uh, we uh, also understand that sexual gratification that? is essentially the same in self-pleasure as it is in intercourse, with intercourse being much better for most people. It is safe to infer that most people will seek out sexual it's intercourse different. at some point, based on what they gratify themselves to, and that most people will not look to kill another person simply based off of media. Did I need to explain this to most people? No. They like to point out that there's a difference between fantasy and reality, but also fail to acknowledge that certain fantasies, especially sexual, have a huge impact on your reality. Now forgive me if I butcher this word, 
but I don't really give a shit. They may bring up Shadophilia, which is basically the attraction to cartoon or- Oh, finally he makes this argument at the fucking last minutes of his video. A and he's dismissing it because he doesn't believe it. Because it completely deconstructs everything he said during the whole fucking video. So it's bullshit now. ...animated characters. I can't, however, find any instances of it being actually mentioned by medical professionals and outside of blog posts, a one-sentence Wikipedia page, yeah, blog posts, the fucking Tumblr that you link to, the fucking Google searched uh, professional quote unquote pages that you link to in, in your fucking video description. Th those are the proper sources that, that you uh, agree with. Dumb fucking Zoomer. Like, these children are immensely slappable, infinitely slappable. And an urban dictionary. I I'm gonna commi commit violence here. Moment. Definition. I think it's safe to say that this is not a medical. This video is making me violent. Fiction affects re reality. D this dude is not real. That's why fiction affects reality and it's making me violent. Makes me want to slap him. Term, but a self made diagnosis made for the sole purpose of cope. I don't believe that this has. Shedophilia is a self made diagnosis for cope. It doesn't exist. Any bearing on the overarching argument, I did find similar terms fictophilia and tunophilia, which- Oh wow, you found a synonym. Congratulations. Now, follow that up. Neither are recognized by the World Health Organization or DSM-5. Pedophilia is, though. I will probably add- But DSM-5 doesn't fucking deal with fictional characters, idiot. Chapters to this video for each argument, so if you feel the need to bring up any previously mentioned argument as a rebuttal to any point made, please refer back to the chapter and play this video like a choose your own adventure book until you get bored. Bad faith. This is the best faith argument you will probably ever get that isn't just acceptance of your ideas and paraphilia. Censorship. Your community actively tries to shut down, harass, and threaten to dox those that criticize you or disagree with you. Again, the criticism is calling people pedophiles. That's that's the consequences of uh, your own vile actions coming back, back to bite you in the fucking ass. Going as far to make privacy complaints and threats to sue small creators that used publicly available images of your members in a video within guidelines. Shout out to Soli, by the way. Go follow his channel. You witch hunt your opposition and do anything in your power to keep people from talking about the degeneracy that takes place within your community. You are the absolute last group that deserves a stance on censorship. Clout chasing. There's a narrative that the only people that cover this topic are clout chasers. To put simply, this is another tactic of suppression of criticism. The vast majority of people feel strongly about this topic and would talk about it to condemn it without the promise of views or likes. I covered the topic purely because it was in my immediate peripheral. I make videos on anything that I feel I want to or can. No, you make videos on whatever f is fucking popular, like most of these fucking drama channels. That's all you do. What's trendy, that's what you're gonna fucking talk about. You know why you made this video on fucking lolicons? Because Fallen Shadows fucking shit blew up. That's why you made this fucking video and the other one. This is all cloud chasing. You want to make money out of this. You have no fucking principles. And you have no skills to do any research on the things that you cover. This whole video that you made is fucking useless. Discuss. No one sole topic is covered purely because I want people to think I'm cool. If I have something to say, I will say it. CSA survivors in the community will vouch for the existence of Lolly. CSA survivors are shown to use depicted and real CP as a coping mechanism and are statistically more likely to go on to be an offender themselves. This is not a good metric to base an argument on. Oh, really? Now you're gonna be calling the CSA survivors that use it to cope predators too now. Like, full, full fucking fantastic. Going. Of on this subject. As victims should not be silenced, there are equal accounts of CSA survivors who feel the opposite. I've linked below a Tumblr thread with several testaments of CSA survivors who are vehemently against this Tumblr material. Thread. This Wikipedia page which states that Lolly is not illegal in Japan. It's also used for the argument of the United States as well, which isn't relevant. However, I'd like to point out that Japan ruled a lack of existence linking fiction and crime, but I also want to point out that CSA rates are so low in Japan because the majority of what we consider to be CSA here is legal there. The age of consent is so low in Japan that the majority of what would be considered sex- It's not. It's- that fucking thing that it's like 12 or 13 is it's a fucking myth no one's gonna go there and legally fuck fucking 12 year olds this dude didn't even do research on on the age of consent in japan and he wants to talk about real actual fucking child crimes dumb motherfucker assault cases are simply legal and not reported on. And also the use of what is legal in another country is completely so irrelevant just to start dumb. with. No one should have needed to piece this together. Most people understand the vile pedophilic nature of Lolly. Oh, also, 
Shota applies. I almost forgot to say that. However, due to the toxic nature of the Lollicon community and their arguments, it was only a matter of time before somebody stepped up to fulfill the request out of spite. Even if you do go forward and you don't want to call these people pedophiles, I hope that you now understand how degenerate they are regardless. Do not let them gaslight you into thinking you're the freak for being repulsed by their vile behavior. If you need this video or any of the sources to tell you that this is a disgusting, pedophilic, degenerative community, then you probably have some underlying issues. These people revel in cognitive dissonance and morally rehensible rationalization. Next time I make an opinionated video, just know that is not because I don't have anything substantial to back up how I feel, it's because I want to make those videos. Special thanks to Mason via Discord and Brother Near 2.0 for giving me a few ideas. Anyway, if you don't like children, depictions of children, childlike features, or hate them, absolutely hate them, you included, fantasize about children, leave a like. If you're a pedophile, be sure to leave a dislike and a comment that nobody will read. To my normal viewers, I apologize for the lack of entertainment value here. We'll get back on schedule soon enough. I didn't even give your video a click, I just downloaded it. I didn't even need to go into it to download it, so. Thanks for the fucking content, dummy. No, stay hydrated, my fags and females, and until next time, I'm signing out. Fuck me, that was... That was... Ah, I, I don't know what's, uh, what, what's worse. Borderlands or his arguments. I, I guess both are pretty fucking bad. Well, we, 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 uh, we managed to get through all of this. And my head doesn't even hurt too. That's a good thing. Did he say the F word? I, I said the F word plenty of times. Don't know if the guy did. I think he did say it once <clears throat> in the video. Don't remember which part, but he, he probably did. <laughs> but yeah, Gura, Red Free. Rent free, rent free, rent free, rent free in everyone's mind. Especially Britain eventies. Uh, let me catch up to chat a bit and, and then we end the stream because we've already gone oh, almost four hours on this shit. Jesus Christ. I'm sure, I'm sure flies when you're annoyed. Holy fuck. Uh, I see uh, plenty of people just fucking baffled by this guy, ar this guy's arguments. Holy shit! Please make more content like this. Please make me more annoyed. Please give me more reasons to stream this shit because it's so fucking funny when these people just flop around. I completely unprepared can easily dismiss his arguments and counter them without much thought in I mean I'm completely involved in that kind of content all the fucking time discussing it but it's so easy to dismiss all of these arguments that the guy was trying to make thanks Nanji that it's um, very much appreciated Okay, I need to cool down and read uh, some of the shit that you guys been uh, typing in here. The music that's playing is kind of it's kind of synced up to Gura dancing, which I like. It's it's pretty well done. I should get more of these dancing small uh, follows. The, the chemical process argument is, is is always fucking fantastic because they have no idea what they're talking about. Like they think there's there's a distinction, it, it, even though <laughs> it, it it's just fucking <laughs> you can just link them to the studies about what chemicals are released and what, which part of the brain actually produces them in both instances, both uh, when committing violence and when getting sexual gratification. Uh, thank you, Lord Zero, for the 1100 CLP. I have no idea what that is. I'll look it up just in a moment. Thanks for the hard work docu documenting this bullshit. Um, thanks, I have brain damage. Uh, let, let's see what CLP is because I have never seen this. CLP. Friends. Oh, Chile Chilean peso. Uh, uh, one of my best friends is Chilean, so. Uh, Thank you for the contribution.
Do I have a Discord server? No, and I and I never plan to have a Discord server. I don't want any communities forming around me, uh, and I don't want to manage them. Because Discord is cancerous, and whenever you make a Discord, even if you make it with the best of intentions, it's gonna go to shit in a matter of weeks. So, uh, no thank you. I, I don't want a Discord. I, I don't want a Discord talking about this shit on my Twitter account and on, on the YouTube channel is more than enough for me. I, I, I don't need to be surrounded in, in a Discord by this stuff as well. Again, even if you have the best intentions when making a Discord, it's gonna go to shit, no matter what you do. Because you're gonna get some people there that don't completely mesh uh, with the other people and it's just gonna com uh, contribute to internal drama. It's, it's always like that and it's always gonna happen, especially if the Discord grows large enough for that to happen. So uh, yeah, the Discord is a, is a no-go. And we're gonna go for the full four hours, so like 10, 10 more minutes or something like that. It sucks a bit that I can't um, scroll back too much. Because there's been a lot of discussion during today's stream. I'll have to go into the VOD and, and see what you guys have been talking about later. But yeah, this is the level of discourse that a lot of these antis are o operating on. It's de it's degenerate. Like you can sum up both of these last videos. It's it's degenerate. It's degenerate. It's degenerate. Porn addiction bad. That's what you can s summarize it as. And they never link to anything proper w when it comes to that. It's it's, it's never. It's always. This content bad, it's gonna lead you to offend, it's gonna lead you to become uh, an abuser of some kind. Personal responsibility is, is never accounted for when it comes to that sort of stuff. So you know, everyone needs to be kept out of uh, content that's potentially harmful to people. And, and it doesn't matter that the people that do actually offend were already pretty unhinged to begin with. And they would do specific actions no matter what kind of content you show them. That's usually the case when it comes to actual predators. But but do you expect zoomers to know this? Do you expect zoomers to actually do proper research on this shit? I consumed this content longer than that fucking zoomer in the last video was fucking alive. And that's no exaggeration. Hey Kuri, how puntable is Small Buddha? Asking for a friend. She she's very puntable. Hold up. She see she she she's uh she's fucking zooming. She's very puntable. She's super puntable in fact. And I should get more more of these small small da dancing versions. Ah oh, shit. The last one said word of mouth has one of its source that isn't reliable at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he at least admitted that he was wrong about that. Oh, I, I heard something from a friend and now I can find the source to back it up. Like, color, be surprised. Y you know why I... I, I when I when I rejoice when I actually see a, a lolicon or, or a shodacon on Twitter or any other social media, because that at least shows me a person that isn't turning me online and can tell the difference between fiction and reality. I, I know that's like a phrase that's repeated in ad nauseum, but I know this person at least won't get upset about fictional fucking content. Most of them won't. I, I expect them not to get offended by this sort of shit. And at least I know I can have some sort of discussion about this kind of content with them uh, without get them getting immediately butthurt by what they see on fucking screen. I had discussions in private with aunties in the history of running my Twitter account. I managed to convince some to at least back off 
from calling other pedophiles about this sort of stuff. They didn't stay quiet about it, but at least they aren't making the assumption that someone is like some sort of predator. Of course, they still find that shit gross and, you know, you can't help that. But finding that shit gross is not a problem for me. Like, you can have that sort of opinion. Once you start calling people names for that sort of shit, that's, that's where I draw the line. I find plenty of fictional content uh, not to my taste. I dislike Guro. I even dislike rape. One of the most popular fictional, uh, you know, pornographic things, which is non-com stuff. I, I even dislike most of that stuff. My tastes in fiction are pretty fucking vanilla, and I find a lot of shit to be uh, disgusting, not to my taste. But I'm not gonna go around calling people names because of that shit. I rag on furries quite a bit, but I only rag on furries because the, a lot of the furries that I rag on aren't self-aware enough to know what kind of content their community is involved in and what kind of actual problems it has. I will only rag on these furries that have no, no fucking awareness of how their community is constructed and what kind of people they have in it. I have nothing against furries and I even lack... Uh, like a lot of kimono art uh, from uh, a lot of Japanese artists. There's, there's some premium stuff in there. I get annoyed that I see people on in Twitter go after anime, but yeah, the, the movie cuties, you never hear a peep out of them. Because it, it's not a thing that they consume, I don't want anyone, I wouldn't want anyone to consume cuties. But I see a lot of YouTube commentators defending fucking cuties. I wonder what the ween fucking guy would have to say about cuties. Suspiciously fucking enough, there's a lot of aunties, um, especially in the commentator sphere, that have defended cuties that have ragged on, on Lolicon. That's a red fucking flag, if you ask me. You're gonna defend the artistic, quote-unquote, merits of, uh, of a movie like cuties. And then you're gonna shit on Lollicon saying that that's fucking harmful. I, if I wasn't just doing uh, VTuber stuff, I'd show you a compilation of people defending cuties because I, I've seen so much shit of that too. Like the most recent, more, most popular example of, uh, of uh, someone defending cuties is that YouTuber called Sneeko. The argument that he used to defend uh, cuties is Oh, children get sexualized in media all the time, that's why uh, it it's okay for cuties to do it. it. It's okay for cuties to sexualize actual real fucking minors because um, minors are sexualized in media all the fucking time. It it's, it's normalized, that that's why cuties is a o fucking k according to Sneeko. But Sneeko is not a very smart person to begin with, so, you know, it, 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 that's not a difficult fucking argument to make against. It's just fucking is. I had a whole list. Vosh would be on that list too, because I, I think he has a, like, a cuties defend, defense arc too. I, I don't even want to talk about Vosh, because we're getting into bread tubers. And bread tubers are their own fucking problem child of the internet. He's a failed Andrew Tate reprogram. That that's a very apt description of what Sneeko is. I once saw a Twitter freak equate cuties to Zaki Chan wants to hang out because they thought uh, a start of a serious 19-year-old was still a child. Ah, uh, yeah, I I remember that that it would. They tried to call Uzaki-chan pedophilic too, because she sh she's short and has a large head and huge fucking eyes. I don't even get me started on this shit. But yeah, we, we, we're getting to the end of the show. I, I, I'm glad I don't have to be involved in bed two person. There's a lot of people, I even recently made a video, a uh, event video, where um, Moist Critical is talking about uh, Lolly, Lolly VTubers to his, uh, like, free guests. And um, one of them makes the argument that 
lolicons and lolly content in general should be outed out of the vtuber community because it makes others uh, look bad you know this is such a fucking bad argument because otaku culture anime and manga stuff it's always been for the weirdos it's always been for the outcast and even now that it's more mainstream that reaches wider audiences People that aren't into that stuff are still gonna be thinking that you're weird, no matter what you watch. I've seen people, like, look at anime characters, like, the real fucking dumb normies. I've, I've seen people look like a, at um, an, an adult anime woman, woman with, like, curves, ass and tits uh, up the fucking wall, and they still call it Call that pedophilia because the character looks young to them there's no winning against normies that's why otaku culture should uh, self gatekeep people like that from it you can't gatekeep a large community like that like, like that but you should tell people that have these sorts of arguments to just fuck off that's the least you can do so it, it doesn't matter what the, what the fucking normie thinks. A, a normie will think what a normie find, thinks and you, you can change his mind. The content is just not for him. He can think whatever the fuck he wants. But yeah, that's the that's the argument. And, and, and that's the stream. It, it, it's been it's been both fun and it's both been both terrible. The beginning was was super fun with these two fucking dudes. <laughs> Uh, especially that guy that tried to diss his classmate because he likes VTubers. Uh, that was that was pretty special. Th the rest was pretty annoying, but at least it um, it had some entertainment value to it. But yeah, I I'm gonna play myself out because the stream's been four hours long, and that's a a like one hour too long than what I thought it's gonna last. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys take care of yourself, stay off Twitter, stay hydrated, stay alive, and I I'll see you when I see you. I, I only want to do streams when I have uh, some um, some substance that I can show you. Uh, otherwise, I might think I I'll do just shoot the shit streams at some point in time. I might do that when I actually have the time to do so. Because otherwise my schedule is very busy. But yeah, I'll, I'll play you guys with a with a nice song, and you guys take care of yourselves. See you.